and uh we are live i believe it's been like a month since the last stream uh whoops it happens it happens but we we were continue oh yeah the music there we go that's more like it currently just going through some of the stuff making sure everything is set up correctly The wheel is nice and updated. And should be good. Yeah. There we go. Okay, let's see. God, what did we do last time? Last time we did, I mean, we ended with Queen of Hatred. Oh yeah, right, the awful Queen of Hatred fight. That's what we did last time. Five episodes late, better late than never. That is true. You could say the same about, you know, this stream. You know, it's it's a month late, but you know, it's better late than never, right? That's certainly something. But yeah, this time we've got a Urban Nightmare. Um, hmm. Good urban area. I think we can also do, uh, what's its face? Night of Despair? Well, at least attempt that. Night of Despair is rough, that's for sure. Can be rough. I don't I haven't really changed my teams much, I don't think. Maybe a little bit? I don't remember. It's been a little bit, right? It happened. As per usual, for the sake of the bit, I'll um, set up a poll so people can actually vote what we do in Urban Nightmare first. Because Birth Row of Urban Nightmare is pretty stacked, that's for sure. There's a, there's pretty good stuff from like everything, you know, because we either got Sweepers, we got Chi Association, we got Circus, and we've got Puppets. Like, obviously, Chi Association is most likely going to be the one that gets voted for first, but you know, I'll still leave it in your guys' hands. <laughs> Also, I do is I'm playing the music on Steam, but I could just launch the game, and that would do the exact that would have the exact same effect, right? It really would. And that's fine. I'll launch the game when the time comes. For now, we chill, right? Hopefully, everything seems fine. I don't think I've messed with any of the settings or anything, and you might need to make sure that I've actually got the. Stuff set up correctly. You never came before stream. What are these pictures? Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, I guess it, it might come as you know a little bit strange to those who aren't you know the most familiar with what's going on. Give me a second though. I'm checking to make sure I've got the settings correct. Because sometimes I don't. Okay, that should be good. Um. Let's see, uh, the basic thing is spinning a turn is just like Tom time, it's Hawking Ball. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this is artwork my friend drew a, a while back. It's of Roland fighting up against, uh, I forgot his name already. Some, it's some character from a children's cartoon. I don't remember the one. This here, uh, I love my beautiful little dog as I run over my, okay. Super Y, that's the one, you got it. It's just a stupid thing my friend drew for me, and I thought it was funny. I've actually got some more stuff I could probably put up. I've received some artworky stuff lately. Let's see. This one's stupid. But based on the fact that I delayed, you know, the stream quite a bit and it's it's one of those images where it's you know a bunch of people reacting to the sad news we got the pea shooter we got bong bong we got mickey mouse we got Roland, we got ban ban mariachi sinclair we, we've got we've got majima and we've also got the 
Capri Sun. Background. Quite raw. I should put that in there somewhere. Good morning. Good morning. Indeed. Uh, your friend will be joining the stream soon. Nice. Of course, quick reminder. I don't really get to draw that well. <laughs> it really is. It's, it's really something else. For sure. Put Hawk, we'll put Hawkman like in the background, maybe. No, like we'll put it. We'll put him there. There we go. Some other random things here and there. Put them on. Maybe I'll try and hopefully remember that some other point to actually like change this screen a little bit so that I can actually fit the stuff I want to fit on this. But that's alright. That's it it happens, right? It really does happen. But yeah, um, Brutus symbol smaller. That is definitely a very good idea. It does not need to be nearly... <laughs> That's true. That's certainly a good idea. I also need to change the stream during soon. It does... I need to fix it some, but I don't know... Uh, the, the spacing between the words is so large. I'll fix it at some point. I have to fit more random things in here, because it's funny. Assembling, like, a bunch of random images inside. Uh, quick reminders, as per usual, but, uh, if you haven't submitted the character already, the form is in the description, and we will get started once the clock hits 7, aka 7 minutes from now, 7 Central Standard Time. It's whatever happens in 7 minutes. Right. Give some time for people to roll in, you know, commit, commit to some banter beforehand. Gregor lost Pablo. I just, I noticed that. I don't think I mentioned any of the videos, but yeah, the new Gregor ID doesn't seem to have the funny brooch at all. It's so sad. I saw like a like a joke artwork of like of Rio Shunelli just kind of like spraying it with uh spraying Pablo with bug spray and killing him. Maybe that is why Gregor Linton is so sad. It would check out. Roland. True. We love Roland from Library of Ruina. So excited for, you know, in five years' time when we get the, the Roland while Purges at night. It's only, like, roughly, what, five five years away? That probably checks out. We'll see. If your dog pull off your name of Pablo, I should. Yeah, because Linden sucks and doesn't deserve Pablo. I hate him. Fair enough. Very much fair enough. Oh yeah, I guess we're like um we're like what like a month away from the actual Switch release of Ruina. That's cool. Said that you're not funny. You're in the same Ruina, so you can literally see your screen. Ah, uh, I see. A little bit of tomfoolery going on. Make sure they get it. Still, I still haven't committed to actually getting a getting a Gregor camera. Good. We won't be able to buy and get the special banner. Yeah, it really is unfortunate. I wish there was a there should they should have a way to get it that isn't like <laughs> this is like a monkey small thing. I, I wish they added a way that didn't require you to buy the game, but they'd probably add it to like as something you could pull from Wolf Purge tonight or something, which would be awful. Imagine like look, trying to get like a new unit, you getting like a duplicate ruin a banner from pulling. Well, Grove has opened it up so I can give a description of my negative thing. If that's what you want to do, then yeah, it'll work. Touch grass finally convinced me to touch grass. How scary. Hello, hello there. Paid Lunacy. Paid Lunacy would also work, that's for sure. I don't know, I've 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 pre-ordered it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. I mean I'm it's it'll take a couple weeks for it to like arrive me because I ordered a I ordered a copy off of I think a Japanese Amazon. So, you know, the shipping might be a little rough, but I'll get it. That's the thing. Hello. Let's see how that goes. What's the... Can I just, like, log on to Japanese Amazon? 
Oh yeah, I guess I just can. Your orders. Yeah, arriving somewhere between May first and May thirteenth. So that's a that's a period. That's a that's a, there's a, somewhere within those two weeks. So it'll be like somewhere from a week to three weeks after it actually launches. That's not too long. I'll fix you might say like it, both ruin and, and lob corp. You're very normal. Roll down nuggets. Yeah, I still haven't. I. What was I trying to say? I haven't uh, actually. I don't have a lot of nuggets of my own. It feels like right. I mean, I've never been one to have OCs. Not much. The closest is Dingus, so, <laughs> which is very sad. They're just a one-off bit. Um, but it was funny. You can grind Mirrodin three for the past few days. I haven't grinded it too much. I'm waiting to see how much I need to grind it because I really want to try and minimize the grind. I want to try and sort of save as many modules as I can so I can grind Mirrodin four when it comes out right. Because I had like 500 modules Mirrodin three came out and I got through all of them before I matched to the Starlight tree. Wonder if the Starlight Grind will be anything nearly that bad this time. Because if it is, I do not have enough modules to get all the Starlight rewards in a decent amount of time. <laughs> That's the main thing. Things off of the best content in Limits NGL. True. Really is. Do you love plants for the zombies? Fair. I'm gonna get level 100 till. <laughs> yeah. You really don't need it anywhere that soon, but you could always... I mean, it's nice. It'll it'll make it really satisfying when you get all those extra awards, though. I see your other kind. You live like a schnoz on PC. Who knows? YouTube's weird. But yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Like, I'm gonna get, like, 20 levels from your dungeon 3 hard next week. Another 20 levels from the one the week after. So, I'm already, like, level, what, 50? So, as long as I get, like, 30 levels from Daily Mirror Dungeon, which I will, I'll be set, right? That bottom left image, yeah. So sad about the stream delay. What's the poster? The poster in the background and the image in the bottom left. Oh, uh, you can't see it too well, but it's the it's the Capri Sun. The stupid Capri Sun from the Nissan poster. Trying to interfere a lot of boxes. Fair enough. I'm. I only have like 90 boxes to my name. You see it there. It's, it's the. It's the. That stupid thing. Quite raw. You have 800. Mm -hmm. I flew too close to the sun last season because I spent so many boxes. And it's because I was only six egos away from having everything Thread's been for. He's not allowing you to schnoz today, it seems. You just were schnoz a second ago. Huh? Oh, were you schnoz on mobile or something? And are you power rock on PC or something? Stop dropping new IDs for five minutes. They're not a lunacy. I haven't got an Uvi Cliff or Butler Otis. Yep. Sufferings never end. Too many really cool IDs, not enough time. Don't want to spend lunacy since we'll purchase nights probably only a couple weeks away. It's truly, you know, infinite suffering. You play 75,000. Yeah, we'll purchase nights probably later this month. Oh, it is 7, though. Let's get into it. You do this entire season to spend some non-wop stuff. Yeah, exactly. However, I need to get stuff day one, so I'm always, you know, like, I stress about that a lot. Because I feel the need to get it as soon as possible. Or if the announcer didn't have any pay people, they got the three star. Like, the fact you can pull previous season's announcer still is so mean. Just, please, why are there dupes for announcers? You rolled and got two different three stars and two egos, yeah. It took me, like, what, 60 pulls to get Butler Otis? That was rough. Wasn't too much. No she for the 444, yeah. Very sad. It's to be expected, though. They gotta do their main story stuff. Um. I guess before we do anything else, I should start the poll.
and it's like it's going to be she that's for sure you can kind of see what i'm doing here i guess that's fine um because i'm gonna pull you guys on what we're gonna do first in nightmare there we go start pull You know, they maybe could have gotten it. Eh, it would have run close anyways. Yeah, it's she by a wide margin. That's not really a shocker. But while we're doing that, I'm going to at least give a try at a Night of Despair. It might be rough. I also don't think I've... These IDs are built very well. Or not called IDs. These... I almost saw the Golden Sitters, though. These librarians. Their key pages aren't built very well. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, who do I have for Pierce? We don't have... Do we not have Great Pierce? Oh, I can't... Oh, no. Right, that's fine. I don't need it. Uh, having some mutes. Yeah, I've got a lot of Slash, actually. What did I just hit? Oh, the manual. I saw it flash for a second. All the librarians bar like exactly tip our sinners. True. Uh, we don't need double say. I went into bleed, didn't I? That was the bit I was going for. Uh, can we just move Oscar here real quick? Sure, we'll try that. Maybe that'll be good enough. Maybe like a workshop too. Sure thing. Just because we need Pierce for this fight, don't we? Might be a foregone conclusion for them. Exhaustion. Injury free one, okay? <laughs> oh, this is actually an awful. I didn't realize it was a. I forgot they've only got one speed dice. Okay. Let's not go for that bit, then. Or we should, and we'll, uh... We've probably got something random we can attribute the passive from. Yeah, we don't need this meow, I don't think. That's good enough. Okay, roll with this. I'm not gonna spend too much time building my team stuff, because I don't think it's in need right now. Better get a made out ID. We're probably getting Nelly uh, Ryoshu next week as the two star. If I dig or not, like not this week, but like the week after that. The idea for your deck in discard time. Oh, that you did. That's right. Forgot about that. You know what? Let's uh, let's take a look. Should we do it here? What do you have? Solidarity. Oh, you've actually got. Let's see. Sure, I'll, I'll commit to the deck. I don't want to do too much deck building stuff early, but I mean, might as well. You got Oscar. I've actually got Oscar. Okay. That might work then. We'll give you, like, Sayo back then. You can take Oscar. Let's see. So, what do you have going for you? Solidarity is actually there, okay. Great 8 fixer here. Yeah, Great 8 fixer page 2 for the. That's the wrong one. We're gonna need a Great 8 fixer page 3. Three. Oh yeah, here we go. That for the piercing prowess. Double kick from Dino. Dino's also blue, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. We fit something else on there, so I'll just back fix her for the bit. Let's see. What do you have going on here? High speed stabbing. Bit of a mend weapon and a number one cause eject. Sparking spear. Stab and detonate. Fletcher, I can't do yet. Since that's. I'll just throw in some random one cause in place. Fletcher, probably then. Oh. Let me get the transfers and stuff up. Prince Pierce, collision. We're fine for the bit. Bad idea now. Uh, sure, that'll work. We'll commit to the bit. Let's see. To transition to ruin. Now they have made it to the real Robocon Road. Gonna be a three star. I'd hope so, but I don't know. Yeah, 
It already feels like we might not get a Nelly unless something like horribly traumatic happens to her. That might be our case, the conditions for getting a Nelly at this point. Which would be a little bit unfortunate, but I could definitely see it. Like if she's gonna like get distorted or something. Did you use bout on bout on purpose? What? Where is then cauliflower? Where's the rev leader? Give the first nice for how recent the BL event was. Yeah, it's a, like a basically like. Kind of, it's a nothing two star. If there's someone wanted to give a nothing two star to it, it uh, Merso makes a lot of sense. He's got a lot of nothing IDs, right? Oh, we can actually a little bit. Transfierce is nice here. We can actually beat that pretty easily. Throw Lace with Kree. Might be a little rough. That's a bad idea. It probably is. What if I double up on it? No, I can't. Okay. Spear you. Speed you. High speed stabbing. Clean up and then like a mend weapon, something like that. Sure. Better for eruption. KK Greg is for bleed. I know that's not saying much. Yeah, Kirkman but Greg also has some other stuff going on for him though. Oh, we just staggered the thing immediately. Yeah, that makes sense. Pierce attacks are super good against it, right? Do we get do enough damage to it? Oh yeah, we do. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we're immediately into this phase. Okay. Uh, what do we have to deal with this, actually? Rules of Backstreet's isn't bad. I don't know how much I trusted for that, though. I'd really like a Transpierce. Oh, I've got a Transpierce. Okay, we'll Transpierce the Heart Piercing Sword, then. Merceau has at least good rough with you gifts. Real bleed you gift is getting cake here. <laughs> right on target, indeed. Uh, might honestly rules the back streets on this isn't a bad idea. We get plus one to slash power. Don't know if it'll make enough of a difference. I could try. We're given two turns to do this. That's the thing to keep in mind, right? You probably shouldn't do anything here. You're not gonna do great. Want a taste of this could potentially. Is it a bad idea to do something like this? Actually, what if I. Rules of Extra. I'd like the Rules of Extra idea. Maybe if I pair it with Sharpen Blade one sidedly, like something like. Something like this there, then actually clash with Rules of Extra, because that way we get a plus three to our slash, so we should be able to win something with that pretty easily. And I guess we probably want you to clash this with something. Collusion pro. Okay, we can't collusion. Uh, stab and detonate, try it. Yeah, Mercer already has a semi-rupture. That's another big issue, right? Uh, sure, just do that. Okay, we'll, we'll try this. Warp. Yeah, warp. Warp skill 2 is actually really solid for rupture if you're going the ADD Gregor, right? Which isn't, you know, if you're going for, like, rupture charge, which is definitely not, like, a great plan, but it's something... Yeah, we got that. Nice. I think I was over-worrying this fight. I feel like I've seen a lot of people have, like, a lot of issue with this fight early. I think we're gonna have to go two cycles, of course. It's very rare that you can't, don't go two cycles. Um, I mean, we'll probably just take love, yeah. Winning a clash. I can probably do that decently well. Do as much damage as you can this turn. Something like this. How much light do you have? Is that one or is that a two? It doesn't actually matter, does it, huh? That's something then. Well, we'll do that. See how much damage we do. Dagger doesn't do anything against you. That's fine. Light's going to be a little rough next turn, though, isn't it? You're low enough that as long as we clash all three swords next loop, we should be basically set. I'm gonna say basically, because I only mean basically. Might be a little rough, but we got this. I think that might be nice. Sure, flash the sun up to that. What do you have? You've got like nothing. Wait up this for the bit. It's not gonna do anything, yeah. That's fine. You can take the hit at least.
Why are, you, why are you guys saying, like, generic, like, Limbus announcer voice line type things? A victory in tactics. That was a pretty good move. What are you, manager or commander? You guys are on a roll. I can feel the heat through the microphone. Alright. We didn't actually do enough to do that turn. All that with a single strike. Two rats with one stone. God. Yeah. We can't actually flash that, can we? That's fine. Oh, uh, what do you have for this? Dark Cloud does not work. Uh, you resist slash physical. Your slash dagger is your issue right now, though, isn't it? You're weak to you're actually weak to slash bong bong, so that's kind of bad, isn't it? Well, you can sparking spear this potentially. I guess we'll go for the dark cloud. We don't really have a lot good we can do this turn, do we? That's fine. Just gotta just gotta do what we can then. Bad as it may end up looking. Save the collision. We're gonna need that. Okay, we do stagger that sword though. There's a bad year describing things when you have described Lobcorp hairstyles. Yeah, I mean Lobcorp hairstyles are also just kind of like that, so don't do not feel bad. They're just hairstyles. I mean, like, what else is there to say? Okay, this turn should be good. Honestly, a decent enough turn to be staggered for, isn't it? Sure, clean up that. You should be able to handle it. Med weapon that. You should be able to handle it. Actually, you're gonna check that. You can just do a little bit of damage, can't you? We're gonna want to do that next turn. Honestly, just clean up that. Like, we're gonna take some damage. I don't think anyone else should get staggered here, though, right? Surely not. Did you find out how to... I did find out how to watch it. Um, it's the main menu. Strange as it is, yeah. It's, you just press and hold on, like, the main menu ID portrait, which is a very strange way to go about doing it. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Gotta say. We've got Transpierce this turn, excellent. We've also got an Ink Over, which actually Ink Over isn't great for us. Oh, we probably rules the back streets one side track and blade once again. Should go decently. Nice, just barely. Was that a mineral? It probably was, wasn't it? Incredible. Okay, two down, one more. I think this was a super clean night of spare fight. She's already dead. We just attack her a bit and she dies. Yeah, I don't know why I was like thinking this might be like a genuine concern. Because it really wasn't. Okay, I should show. Uh, quick, quick diversion. I'm booting up Limbus so I can show this off. Once it, uh, loads. Probably a bad idea of you doubling up on these, but I'll just show it so you can see how it works, because it's very strange. You gotta press it, like, you see, I'm pressing and holding this, and, like, it's starting to, like, do a thing when I press and hold. You fully do it, and then you see the actual cutscene thing. Very strange way to do it. Just wanted to show that off. There we go. Night of Spare. <laughs> Limbus. I was showing how you can replay the trailer things. The the extraction cutscenes. We just disputed Night of Spare first try, Melon. <laughs> we move on to Limbus now. That's true. Hurry it up, will you? Don't nag me now. This is the fastest I can go. Even a snail would be faster than that, you. <laughs> Alright, I'm done moving him. Sheesh, you got a fiery temper. I just want to get done with what I can as quickly as possible. If you're so confident, why don't you tell me about your progress in learning about the city's sciences? I don't know. What's the point when singularities violate all the known laws of physics anyway? Yeah, that is true. Who did Tiff learn swords from is the question. 
I mean, Tiff lives right next to Gabura. I don't think that's really much of a question. I'm not even sure us librarians can be defined as living beings, either. It's true. Singularities can be a huge obstacle to understanding the city. What do you mean by librarians being difficult to define, though? That part got me curious. What do you think librarians are? Beings that aren't human, but kind of like humans? All librarians can only exist within the library. And they're reincarnations of beings from the Body Corporation. Patron librarians being the Sephiroth and assistant librarians being the employees. Yeah. I've heard similar explanations, yeah. Former staff of Lobotic Corp were given a new body, basically. You found them in a book. That's also very possible. Natural sciences, I'm sure there's plenty of people who swear in, like, the, the books here. Angela did keep her promise. Yeah, the staff and the employees weren't the only ones to come back. The abnormalities did, too. But because most of the systems and structures of the Lobotic Corp broke down, and a lot of their energy was exhausted from all the light and all the combat they had, they couldn't maintain a physical form. On the other hand, the librarians have had their flesh restored, but they're psychologically unstable. The librarians carry abnormalities with them when they fight guests. Also from the outskirts, that is also true. And we're no exception. Oh, now I see. Still, it felt like we were just borrowing power from the abnormalities, not consumed by them. Also, yes, yeah, she, she, she won the poll. I should just end it there. Yeah. Although there have been a couple of moments where I felt as if I almost crossed some kind of line. Yeah, the line of the distortion. Ooh. The so called, or I guess corrosion. The so called distortion occurs once you cross that line. And Angela is adjusting things from behind the scenes to make sure that we don't. Sounds like we're dancing on a stage or something. <laughs> yeah, you did you miss the whole thing about, you know, Angela calling it like acts and scenes and all that sort of stage play things that's basically what's happening it's just as you say it feels strange to be the ones on the stage this time could this be angela's little vendetta against you guys going through the shelves picking out your pre-written personas Ooh, children of it could be she never talks about it i mean i think she does to a degree she doesn't talk about it because it's not a pleasant thing to remember I don't know. Like, the thing is, you know, the outskirts are not the kind of thing a, a child could forget, I don't think. Unless, you know, it was suppressed by, you know, the horrible trauma. But I don't think that... That doesn't come off like that. It's hard to say, though. Great. Then could you tell her to leave me out of this? Anyway, even these citizen librarians and I were to face horrible death lords, even guess. We'd wake up with a reconstructed body once the library closes. But we still feel the fear of pain and death whenever we go to guess. Do you know why? Oh yeah, this part. This is the cutscene where they're like, oh yeah, this, they basically explain emotional being like, oh yes, we forget that we're actually gonna be fine after we die. Yeah, Shoko is more in Enoch than the outskirts themselves. Definitely seems about right. Because we forget. That's right. Librarians forget the fact that they can revive once they're receiving guests. <laughs> Such a funny thing. This is the only time it's mentioned, and I guess it makes sense because otherwise, the emotion level and the people being sad and their allies die doesn't really check out for the librarians. But it's always so funny. We have to face each other feeling the same kind of desperation and dread the guests feel. Very normal stuff. Angel is so humane. She's so humane. We must prepare ourselves for death and agony every time we greet our guests. How's that? You still think the library's invitations are dirty? Well, I guess that's fair enough. But strictly speaking, we do revive at the end, don't we? Not knowing about that when we die is one thing, but still. It's still kind of dirty in that sense, in my opinion. Besides, even if we're relieved of all pain when the library closes, the fact that we were hurt still stands. Don't you resent Angela for putting you on the stage and twang with you? If she could make this more painful for us, she would have already. I think Angela's actually caring for us in her own way. Back in the Body Corp, employees were quite literally expendables, like in all the other corporations. 
But here, no librarian is left behind, at the very least. No one is left behind. No one is left behind, huh? I gotta say, I admire your positive mindset, Tiff. Hmm. It's a wisdom that comes with age. You know, sometimes when I fall asleep and then wake up in this library, I don't feel like waking up ever again. Normal thing to say, very, you know, net sack. But yeah, makes makes sense. No, it's not just here. I've always been like that since long before I came here. Yeah. Sure, it would be funny if he went in some sort of, you know, emotional breakdown. And, you know, a couple, a couple of dreams times. I just didn't want to wake up from my dreams. But why? Because I'd have to start yet another dreary day with nothing to look forward to. You don't hold any expectations? Nope. I already threw all expectations for anything down the drain. It's all going to fall into ruin soon enough. Me and this world I live in. I might be suffering for a severe case of that disease in the mind you guys were talking about after all. I still believe that we can become better. Well, you're free to believe whatever you want. Alright, let's go prepare ourselves for another dance, shall we? There we go, realization level up, new assistant library rolling trauma dumping on the 12 year Yeah, he does that. Busting despair, please by my teardrops. Eh. Nothing too insane here. This is basically just like a bootleg, you know, of all for Hana. And then this one... I say bootleg, but it is just all for Hana, but as an admin page instead of passive. Ally dies, all our things, strength, haste, and all enemies inflicted with too fragile. Sure thing, I don't plan on letting allies die. But, like, it's the kind of thing where, I mean, this does have its potential uses. You need it for tips, already, that's the thing. And, you know, Pierce, do more damage. But we've got another person. It's Reinhardt. I feel like half of the assistant librarians in this game are named Reinhardt. And I don't know why. But, you know what that means? It's been a while since our last wheel spin. That's for sure. It's been a solid little bit. Um, We're finally going to get the chance to spin the wheel again. Isn't that exciting? Let me make sure that we're all up to date. I think we are. There hasn't been too many new names. Wait. No. You still submitting yours? Oh, you added yours? Oh, let me refresh. Oh, yes, I see it. It's been 3,000 years. It really has been. Alright, I'll add yours to the wheel then. What am I most embarrassing for a librarian to be recovered from? Uh, Bald is awesome, probably. <laughs> Let's see. I think that should be good, though. To make sure everything is in decent condition. Xbox here is also being a little weird, but it happens. Get back in your containment cell, guys. I know you're trying to breach out, but you, mu you must stay in there. You know, they're embarrassing in different ways. That's true. That is very true. But yeah, um, enough stalling. Time to spin the wheel. Let's see who's going to be the next person on Tiferet's floor. The next person librarian. <laughs> the triple combined spider tech. Alright, interesting. Doubt! Alright. Let's take a look. What is there? I don't even know who the struggle is, but you're hoping they get and sound awesome. Have you submitted yours yet, DC? You should. Let's see. Doubt. And the ultimate life form. Oh, this one is a modded page. Is the one I bothered to install? I don't think so. <laughs> Your cause, there's thing. It seems like it. Okay, well, it seems like I need to actually install a mod for this. So let me quickly restart the game. Just need to get an appearance projection real quick. Shouldn't take more than like a second. Let's so switch back to that is the wrong button. That is the graveyard. We don't need to pull that up. We had launched the game again. Should have downloaded, hopefully. 
we'll get that going. But yeah, there. <laughs> I'm looking at this person. It's just, it just fully is just green ordeal person. Is fairly funny. Okay, nice spam clicking work. Yeah, now if I go back here and go to the actual doubt, go to the appearance projection workshop stuff. I actually don't know what I'm looking for. I know I know what it's called, but I don't know if there's an actual. I don't know what the book is called. There we go. Doubt. Pretty funny. Seems to be like a recolor of like one of the Brotherhood people, but designed to look like the Doubt things, the Green Dawn. Very silly. But yeah, let's see. I have face and hair is not to be seen. All right. No hair it is. I'll scroll. This isn't hair. Great. Good job, me. Um, I'm going to scroll a little far and you're going to see some questionable things and I'll unscroll that far. It happens. Oh, some of these battle symbols seem fairly important. <laughs> okay, the battle symbol thing says, Ensemble Puppeteer Face, in parentheses, Jaehyun's head, and parentheses, and then in parentheses again, the one that is a gray box with red eyes, and parentheses, new parentheses, like the puppeteer from Reaver Ensemble, and parentheses, beginning parentheses, the one that revives Angela to spite Roland, it meant to be angelic, I'm sure, but it says angel. End parentheses, beginning parentheses, that puppeteer, end parentheses, start parentheses. I want that battle symbol for it, it, it is his head, end parentheses, start parentheses, and nothing else on my nuggets end, end parentheses. Alright. Uh, which one? Where is that? Is it Tedware 4, probably? Yeah, it looks like it. There we go. What is this? <laughs> okay. Instead of screenshot of Sanguine Desire rolling in 90 and killing crying children. Awesome. Thank you so much. I rock. Uh. Where was I? God. Bit of a mess. <laughs> Normal battle symbol request. There really is. Uh, but yeah. Continuing on, I got distracted by Ira sending me an image. I should actually keep on going. But yeah, back to customizing librarian. Base appearance reduction doesn't matter. Prefer floor, yeah, it's fine. Quotes. Combat entrance. It's, it's, you can probably guess that it's just going to be stuff from actual Green Dawn quotes. In the end, they are bound to life. We existed only to express despair and ire. They only saw the death of life. Nothing shall remain on the ground. You made anything you want? Range stuff, ideally, later on. If you can't tell about what's in the end, this is the ordeal of green, the original one. Reawaken by the endless possibility of, of the library. Awesome. Let's see, for the bit, let's make you a bit short. <laughs> There we go. Little, small little doubt. Small little doubt. Oh. I have received a friend request. Interesting. Yeah, enough of that, though. You can send pictures. You can add me on. You can add me on. Uh. Discord and send pictures. Oh, you want me to change your okay, that's okay. I will. Yeah, this is this is this is what Irock sent me. Uh this image. You know, 90 rolling sanguine desire because you know it's based gains power based on bleed on target, just killing Philip. So wholesome. So wholesome is we love killing Philip. That would have been so much easier. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, you're saying you want your ally death to be Damn it. 
You ruined our no death run. Alright, seems good. No more Reaver Ensemble Band. Yeah, okay, that's good. But yeah, it's just, she is so student time. First off, I'm, <laughs> Small Doubt is so funny. I love how small I made it. <laughs> this is a little guy. It's quite entertaining to me, at least. Um, see, I need to go and fix some of these slurs, don't I? Because I kind of moved some stuff around. Because you had one of the Sayos. You can take that Sayo. That looks good. You're still fine. I think Malku had a uh, Salvador, right? I think so. You can have your Salvador back. Pod, I think. That's good. Yeah. You're fine. I don't need something random. Do I have anything built I can just throw on? Uh, maybe somewhere. Eh. I think I've actually got much built. That's fine. I'm not going to use Death Slur right now, so we'll build it when we need to. <laughs> We're for this munchkin now. Yeah. This little machine munchkin. So when is Adam Sandler going to get reconstituted from the light? In time, I'm sure. I should actually I should add that to the wheel, though. I don't think I did already. No, I didn't. I'll add Adam Sandler to the will, though. Or to, the, to the will. <laughs> I'm adding Adam Sandler to my will. When I die, I, I leave my channel to Adam Sandler. Um, no. Adding him to the wheel so you know it'll be a possible option in the future. Bring your child to work day? Yeah, basically. I should probably use, like, the hot floor or something. That'll probably work. Adam Sandler gets Gregor. I trust Adam Sandler to Gregor. He'd take great care of him, I'm sure. The Amusement of Bremen, full stop office, and she association time. <laughs> Director, how could this even be considered tolerable? Suppress your feelings and remind yourself. Money, fame, and power rule over this world. Sometimes I hate YouTube. What happened? It really is, it really is like that sometimes, but I'm curious. Why did Valentin's lines not work? Um, I think it has to do with the door, right? Because, like... It's... So it's because, I believe, um... They got rid of the door noise, didn't they? Because he had, like, the door break noise originally, or something like that. And they got rid of a bunch of Valentin's lines at the same time. So it's just bugged or something? I don't know. Do you have a Discord server? Not yet. I plan on making one sometime soon, though. And I do actually mean sometime soon now. Probably like after Canto 6, though. Something like that. Look forward to one soon. Yeah. Oops, I didn't need to hit autoplay. Yeah, that's fun. That's fun. It's weird, because, like, it doesn't even light up, like, I don't know why. I don't know what they did exactly. They might have removed it or something, but... Maybe a color that does not excuse the severity of a fixer. It doesn't even belong to our association setting us all up. He's doing it so blatantly, too. So what? Are you going to betray the association, kill branch manager Thelma, and then kill the blue reverberation for our freedom? Yeah, basically. I don't see a way out of this. I heard even the smiling faces are involved. They might be. Who knows? This is rotten to the core. You didn't really use really this girl until someone cracked me. Yeah. It's very... It's like that in Project Moon stuff. It's not always obvious. Director, what has become the, of the core values of the she? The very identity of our association. Oh, red circle, identity, ID, yep. If you want to overthrow the system, have patience. And sharpen your strength. There's nothing we can do in our current state. The director is right. We can't do anything about it right now. And this fell fight, your hod did th you got three boundary death max rules. Awesome. We love it. <laughs> Leaving us all with a dangerous request, knowing that we're fatigued! Director Eugen will rise to become the president of Xi one day. We'll be able to shake up this corrupt system once this time comes. 
We are section two. Our role is to simply take care of the cast given to us. We just need funny frames with boundary. I'll probably put I'll probably will put Eugen on the odds floor for the bit, yeah. Have I done No, Letitia is next up, right? I think so, yeah. So I haven't done Letitia yet. Runa she game started low percent could work in Limbus. It definitely could, but the thing is in Limbus it's so much easier to build up HP because of how many things there that heal. Did you hear Boundary of Death? You sure did. Director, we've been dealing with urban nightmare class case of 10 consecutive days. Okay, but it wouldn't make sense lore-wise. It doesn't make sense lore-wise why the She Association gained benefits from being low HP anyways. Um, the other thing you want to say that they work well under stress, because they're supposed to specialize in assassination. You'd really think they'd be more so about, like, you know, speed, striking fast, one side attack, stuff like that. You pull someone from like the middle conversation. Yeah, it definitely could see it. It's kind of become the she's gimmick. Should have been in the poison ocean, but no. I mean, they are the poison ocean. The, th the three she IDs do have poison on them, but they're not, you know, focused on as much as Sanka's teams. You will now send me a jump scare. Prepare. Oh boy. I'm going to get jump scared. Exciting. Taking out the Patriarch of the Naraku clan, the retrieval of Oblivion Ingot, the destruction of the Fragment of Beyond, demolishing the Thin Beef Skirt Factory, and eliminating the Captain of the Steel Comrades yesterday. A lot of random things. He had to resolve all of those requests in the last 10 days without even a break. We normally shouldn't be handling more than one such case per week. Well, the specific situation of, yeah, the specific situation is she South, six, South Section 2 here became their entire gimmick in Limbus. Well, unfortunately, some of the associations are kind of doing a little iffy on their, like, actual gimmick. Seven's also in a strange place where, like, they were gonna be, like, super weak disoriented, stuff like that, the first few were, but then they've kind of shifted into being super ruptury with the newer Seven IDs. Newer being relative, of course, since you know those IDs are in the first season 2. Like, it's weird. She just kind of needs... She needs, like... The next she units is probably going to make or break the entire association. They're probably... It's probably going to set in stone, like, what their gimmick is going to be. Because the she IDs we have right now are very, like, unfocused, right? See. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Poison is overall stronger when high level. Rupture is stronger when high level puns are practically immune to two types of attacks. Yeah. Sorry for scaring me. Yeah, uh, I rock just said. Jump scare. Most pictures of the southern branch of section 2 have already died. And none of those who survived are in good enough condition to proceed with another request, including us. We're on the brink of a breakdown, both physically and mentally. You've seen how Section 3 and its associate offices got wiped out in a wave of unreasonable requests, and the same is happening to us now. And most of all, your condition is looking worse than any of us, Director Eugen. You stood at the front and fought more vehemently than everyone to keep others from getting hurt. Broken parts can be mended, and wounds can be sewn up. Your injuries are simply too severe to be healed up in a day or two, Director. Everyone in Section 2 has suffered damage that would take much longer than a few days to recover, in fact. Unless we had K-Corp Singularity or something. Funny bit. You worry too much. We'll handle the library requests to like, just, like, just like any other request you've done so far. I forget they mentioned K-Corp here. Because whenever I think of the K-Corp mention, I always think of the HP bullets from Lob Corp. The void healing team wide and circle HP. Yeah, it's it's rough because you need to avoid. Se there are several ego gifts that are just healing too, and you just need to pass them up in mirror down and stuff like that. A lot of really strong egos just give healing. You need to be careful you don't have any support IDs that are giving you too much healing stuff, like a Gregor ID or like a 
Chef Ryoshi, that sort of stuff. We're talking when she saw Section 2 is getting murdered. Yeah. I do wonder, because, like, thinking about it, they, they did get, like, a she person to, like, assassinate Shren. Do you think, like, do you think when Alfonso, like, hired that she person to take down Shren, like, do you think she paid them by, like, being like, yeah, we'll give you some ampules? Because she sounds like they really need ampules. Can't use low threat spin pursuance because it was heal. Yeah, you can't use pursuance because it'll heal low HP. Yeah. Hello, Armagon. Director Eugen, even if we were to handle this job successfully, they'll still hand us yet more absurd cases. Valentin has a point. You might have to receive endless requests until Sector 2 is annihilated and you are killed, Director. Do you think healing is that bad? Yeah, it just makes it more annoying. That's for sure. I'd like to be able to get them below low HP and then they just stay there, right? How far have you progressed? We did, um, Night of Despair. And now we're doing she, and that's it so far. I do have plans. In the end, the root of the matter lies with the blue reverberation. If they're full HP, so be it. Yeah, but the she associated with full HP are just kind of below average IDs. At below half HP, they're, you know, unique. You know, the Heathcliff mass attack skill 3 is still so funny. We aren't headed to the library simply to obey our superior's orders. Our objective is to retrieve the book to the musicians of Bremen. They're what we need to uncover the blue reverberation plot. No surf effect limits any initiative to add a powerful on hit effect you can't let resolve. Yeah. Letting one side hits through is often a bad idea against a lot of things. What do you mean? She Ishmael was like one of the two good she IDs before season three. Because she could actually maintain poise, but only if she's below havoc, otherwise she's bad at poise too. It's nice really clean here to get a new library. We got a new library and we got um doubt, which is just the green ordeal doubt from <laughs> From Lob Corp as a librarian. I received a tip off that the person who appeared to be the leader of a syndicate named the Musician Brem and spoke with the Blue Reverb some time ago. Are you suggesting that the books of the Musician Brem could contain information about the Blue Reverberation? We will at least be able to find out what he is conspiring. Then, the reason you sent both of us to assassinate the Church of Gears was also... Yeah, it was Hallfire's cousin, basically. What exactly are you planning to do? I will take my own measures once the request is done. God, uh, the Valentin voice is still so funny. It's especially funny because a couple lines he still does voice. They just never fixed him. He's just, like, mute. We actually trust this director. When you promise us you aren't going to harm yourself for the sake of Section 2. You've always been so self-sacrificing, director. You can count on me. I know my own life matters. We can't turn the tide if we're dead. Also, the Chi IDs in... It's a similar thing, like, the GIDs we see in Limbus are all Section 6, so they don't look nearly as cool. Their outfits aren't nearly as cool as these guys. Like, they don't have, like, the funny jackets. You know? It's similar to how, like, the like the low-level Liu IDs are kind of lame compared to the high-level ones, because they don't have, like, the coat. She's got, like, a thing going on there. I wonder if any other associations are going to look cooler at, like, high. I'm excited to see, like, a high-grade, like, Zvi person or something, right? Because it might have, like, a different type of coat while still looking similar. Yeah, they're the ones we can still- Oh yeah, right, it's all- it's section 5. I just remembered, yeah, they're section 5 technically, but you know what I mean. The ones in, uh, Limbus. Look at she has the close bond between members, but they also need to be the most attached given they die so often. Yeah. How great Ufi don't look like clowns? Ufi is cool! I don't know what you mean. Yeah, I guess I'm done. Understood. This is one of the few launch associations where the IDs interact in story. Yeah. We've only seen two associations in the story now. 
I really wonder if the actual Canto 6 Uffy guy is going to show up again in the Canto. Like, is he stuck somewhere in the manor too? Or did he just not get affected because he's not, like, that closely tied? It would be really cool if we did. I also hate the fact that we've actually properly seen Associate Prison in the story and he didn't even get a name. Like, why, why not? He at least deserves a name. But oh well. He's still honest to a fault. Oh yeah, Roland knows Eugen. I forget about that sometimes, but he sure does, to some degree. Are you really sure you're just a small no-name fixer? Oh yeah, he really- Even I can tell your connections are simply too broad and deep for a mediocre fixer at this point. Next wall we get Eugen. It's either- it's gotta be Eugen, I think, or like Salvador or something, but Salvador would make sense to be another burn. I think Eugen makes the most sense, because we kind of are looking- we kind of don't have anything poise related from all purchase yet, so it makes sense. Okay. You did this to ruin the contract, die, and we get another stubborn lifelong enemy faction. I hope so. I'd love to fight association people. I really hope, like, one of the Mirrodim just kind of randomly adds some, like, normal enemies that are just association people or something. Because the fact we haven't gotten to fight any of them is just so sad. We also need more enemies that are, like, burn stuff, so, like, fighting Lee would make sense. More enemies that do status effects that do something right. Could have added more she stuff on 4 4. Yeah, but it's in the middle of Canto 6. I don't blame them for not doing it. <laughs> to answer your question, yes, I'm only a grade 9 fixer. Salvador is pretty likely to be seen in the actual story. Yeah. I think Eugen will also be cool to see in the story, though, right? It's really hard to tell. That's after I fell to rock bottom in a turn of events, though. I used to be a common fixer, really. Is that so? What grade were you at before, then? What do you believe me if I said it was a grade one fixer? Oh, it's hard to believe, but if you say so. Wow. And that was a lot less distrust than I expected. Anyway, I was just an ordinary fixer who mostly collected intel. That's why I got so many connections. I can only put up a decent fight now thanks to this new body you gave me and the library's powers. You said trust is important in this business, right? Is it okay to see an acquaintance of yours die like that? It's unfortunate to see him struggle, yeah. Here's the thing, though. We only saw things from their perspective. You think they're free from the blame of killing some other people who struggled for life and fought for change? Online as easily as he... Well, he's he actually doesn't lie about this stuff, right? He was just an ordinary fixer who mostly collected intel, as far as he's concerned. Like, it's not necessarily a lie. He's He is actually a grade 9 fixer, right? Here's the one leave It's not the bridge in terms of arrive means he might be tied now. Um, I think he could. There's two things. Mainly, there's not a door to walk out of, really. And he could only get out if he physically broke his way out, or, like, if Angela let him out. I think he probably could, but Angela's not going to let him out, of course. And I think he's not tied to the library, though, because, uh, Roland Bada. <laughs> right? Is he grade one technically because Angelica's color? Yeah, he was grade one. I suppose not. That's how it is. Someone they killed must have been in circumstances as unfortunate as theirs. Well, unless they were. <laughs> Point is, there's no way for everyone to be equally happy. It's a matter of perspective. Going to the captain in Charles' office, he was kind of... He was like the unofficial leader, right? Because he wasn't the operator. He was basically the leader of the normal fixers, the people, like the main things. But he wasn't the actual proper leader of the office, because that was Charles. He's kind of like the like the first mate, as you could say. I don't know if that's the best term for it, but you know what I mean. Well, they ought to simply do their work without ever trying to get to know each other. Hmm. Everyone has their own stories. But we can't give up ours for the sake of someone else's. Like what we're doing. That's that. And this is this. There it is. He said the line again. We love it so much. We love, you know, coping with our issues by just being like, nah. Let's just, we love just not thinking about our problems. He's so real for that. We've done all the first aid we could give. Director. Focus on the work for now. We'll take care of what we can first. Waiting, dear guests. 
Greetings, I am Yujin, director of Chinese Section 2. Introduce yourselves, everyone. Huh? But when someone greets us, it's only polite for us to greet them back, isn't it? So nice. Even in dire circumstances, always maintaining their manners. Yes, sir. I'm Tenma, associate fixer in Section 2 of the Shi. We're busy waiting for an Arthur officer equivalent. They're sitting on a gold mine there. I think if nothing else, it'd be cool to have, like, like, Abinos related to that or something, right? It, could, it's, it's a, it definitely would fit for fairy tales to have, like, King Arthur type Abnos. But yeah, fixer office to, like, mirror Charles would be funny. What a cool depression, like, Roland. Yeah. <laughs> he makes it look cool. <laughs> Valentin, associate fixer in section 2 of the shoe. I am Enzo, the director of my brand and my role's namesake. I came here through the invitation to acquire the books that are said to be here. Then you may you find your books in this place, dear guest. Okay, that's it. Into the fight. Um, might use Malkuth here. Is that a good idea? I don't know. Oh, you need... Actually, you know what? Let's do something real quick. Let's do Malkuth. Let's give Alec, like, speed. Let's give you random stuff too, why not? That's good enough. We'll go back in and we'll skip the story. I just I, you can't just attribute passes when you're actually like about to enter a reception, but whoops, did not mean to click off there, unfortunate. Clicking too fast for my own good. But yeah, but like the round table is so silly, even sillier than the paladin. Yeah. Can't wait till we get the, the green knight abnormality. <laughs> Is that, a, is that lance a lot? I don't remember. I read the book in, like, high school, I think. But I don't remember a thing about it. The one with the green knight. Oh, we only get one. No, we get two floors for this. That's right. Okay, that's good. We can bring it, like, hot or something if we need to. All right. Why did you re-enter it? Oh, I wanted to attribute the speed to Alec. You're his own dude. Yeah, he's his own dude, that's right, but I forget, like... Was it Lancelot? Was the knight there? Or no, it was Gawain, right? Gawain and the Green Knight. Gawain? I don't know how to pronounce it. It was Gawain, right? Because Lancelot was some random. Yeah, Gawain goes... The Green Knight challenges him or whatever, and he goes on a quest. And in the end, you know, the Green Knight's like, yeah, I'll... You, you you cut my head off, and I was fine, so now I cut your head off, and you know... That one lives because of a necklace or something close? I don't remember. It's been a while. Funny Abno bit, though, I'm sure. These guys, though, uh, what do we do here? What do you do? <laughs> what does Alec do? That's a that's a really good question. And I don't think I'll ever know the answer. Dude, Alec does their best, I suppose. Can you win these? Uh, nah, you'd win. Okay, sure, we'll try it. Was anyone attacking you? No. Malkuth can't redirect anything. That's unfortunate. We'll have to, we might have you double up or something, right? Because you could indiscriminate shots one of them. And then you could, like, take this shot the other? This is a bad idea. But, like, it might do something, right? You can just go from one-sided. I just want to see if he's to try and run away. Yeah, that's right. Sounds about right. The gift for the Green Knight kept it secret and it was, it was a trick. He was next one. Yeah. I get I get the vague gist of what happened. It's been a while. I'm sure it'd make for a good Abno, though. Uh, Ashes from Elkuth. Sure thing. Crack a dawn this person. Yeah, we'll be able to clash everyone. That's nice. Love to see it. Go for another now. Die. Bleed a little bit. You know, sometimes in order to live a little bit, you gotta bleed a li little bit, right? A flash of sun up there. Redirect it with Crack of Dawn. Flash of sun up there. Redirect it with the other thing. You've watched one entire video in Arthur and thus are an expert. I see. These guys look pretty... <laughs> Thank you all for being my announcers. 
Where would I be without, you know, my several Limbus announcers in chat? Shh. Okay, must be Limbus Daggered here. That's nice. What are you going for? I see. Help. Kill. I sure shoot that guy a little bit. Wait up that guy or something. Uh, I don't know if we need to attack these guys this much, but this will this will work, I think. Yeah, death. Nice. <laughs> you gotta be more mean. That's true. Crucial aspect. No one part of the world is to be seen to effort expand their canonicity. I mean, I think it's fairly obvious, I think, by some of them. But they just extract tapes of their voices. It's just tapes of the like the announcers speaking, and it's just something another thing Dante like inserts into their like little like limbus pad, right? It's vaguely canned in the same way like all the ID cards and stuff are can. All right, kill this guy. Nice. That was a pretty easy first wave. We're gonna see how the we go as far as the actual boundary in goes though. That might be something else. Yeah, Boundary of Death. Your deck is certainly something else. One out of fifth is Boundary. Because, you know, that's that's fair. You can't do a turn one at least. That's something. But these guys all have two speeds. The fact that we killed all the enemies super fast. Last wave. Not really the best thing for us in the long run. Because we won't be able to build energy up as quickly here. That looks decent, though. These high speed stuff we cannot redirect. Crack a on that. Flash sun up to that. Flash sun up to that. Uh, you we can't redirect both these. That's fine. We'll just, I mean, overcome crisis is pretty in, in bearable, right? Give me a second to find the words I was trying to say. God, one side this guy a bunch though because we don't like him. Nameless doesn't give us a good book. Die. Rest people fix their VP because they're all insane. There was a. Word. Uh, yeah. Not too familiar with, like, a lot of the roundtable stuff myself, but yeah, I do know some of the obvious stuff, right? Okay, that's fine. We, we used Observe for the strength more than anyone else. Um... I might... Gluttony Cauliflower, just because Cauliflower is G-Con and therefore he's going to die. There's the boundary. Okay, we can't redirect, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping I could redirect with, like, indiscriminate shots or something, because there's no way this way rolls heads four times in a row, right? I never like, it doesn't 80 billion, depending on whose fanfiction you're reading. Alright, boundary time. Let's try dodging it. <laughs> Why not? Uh, let's see. Stuff we cannot redirect is a lot of stuff, actually. Well, Structural Analysis should go fairly well. Just think you get the three strength this turn. One side, the idiot that we don't like. Now die. Uh, you can redirect that, I guess. Pulls up the life. It shoot the guy I don't like. And we'll go for some one sides in these guys, too, I suppose. Sure, this will work. Nice. Guy I don't like is almost dead. Love to see it. Okay, um... <laughs> okay, I don't think I can save Cauliflower at this point. Cauliflower's a little doomed. Did happen. Okay, three. That's fine. That was actually probably a two, wasn't it? And see the net rule. Okay. Cauliflower's not doing great. Reminds me of those speedy Pekatula in Mirror Dungeons. Yeah, the Gloom... I think Gloom guys have like a five to seven speed range, don't they? Something stupid like that. She got a four. I don't think she did. Isn't great. Uh, might stagger you because you're close. You can redirect you, so that's good. We can save your life a little bit. So you're fine. We need to clash this and that stuff. You yeah, wait up that because that's all you can do. Uh. We do not have a lot of great stuff we can do this turn upon closer evaluation. Hmm. 
We don't need to clash over from Chris, I don't think. We need to kill you, though, because you'll slightly live. You The burn doesn't quite kill you in time. I think it was three that got buffed before we saw four in her activation. Yeah, probably. Because that's how it works. She can't actually... We can't actually roll a four and it be max because of how it works. Like, if she rolls a four, it gets buffed to five, which is always very funny because we're an eight plus one from her passives. But the random guy ten was staggered. Eugen's getting fairly low. We're getting boundaryed. Okay, we'll just let that go through. Either Layla gets boundaryed or Layla doesn't. Okay, we could now die to instantly die. <laughs> we did that is a possibility um you could do your best smile that's really all you can do though unfortunate to say that's fine that's fine well one side valentine a little bit since he's fairly alive still Okay, that was a... I think that was a three that got buffed twice because you have the thing. That works then. Okay, you're healing a little bit though, but you're getting a little bit of bleed next turn, so that's not going to be nice. Valentin almost burns to death, that's cool. Okay, nothing too scary this turn. You need to do nothing this turn, I think, right? That's, that's how we're playing this, I think. A uh, Tenma, we are fine killing. We don't care about her stuff too much. It's Eugen. We want to make sure he gets the high speed values right. Might get let Eugen get this kill then, because that'll buff, that'll up her emotion level. Yeah. Might just stick with this. Yeah. Okay. That works. Shoot Tenma dead. Eugen gets a kill. Emotion level three. We're pretty fine killing Valentin now. Um, we can save Mel a little longer with this. Or not Mel, God, Cauliflower. They're both plants. <laughs> the worst excuse of all time. Okay. Take the shot. You can just gun and kill, right? Yeah, you should be able to. Then we just got to clash against you a bunch. In case this chain should work well. Actually, we could just double flank attack. No, we don't. Actually, we can't double flank attack. Okay. This will work well enough, though. Clash against Yuchin as much as we need to. Valentin's dead, so that's good. Okay. Covered. Okay. Boundary. That's scary. Uh. Wait up the boundary. <laughs> we don't even we don't even win these if she rolls like a three. Like that's okay, that's a good bit. That's a good bit. We'll roll with it. Uh, and we'll sunset blade that. Okay, this looks good. Okay, nice. We get staggered. You do some damage. Your emotional level four, you're almost maxed now. We're gonna need to clash for like the weakest things we have. Because you are very close to death. So we need to be a little bit careful. And we'll slowly get your emotional level. There we go. Here's another boundary. Oh, uh, this is the one that's probably gonna work, isn't it? Just, just statistically speaking, right? Roll with this. Layla's turn. Okay, no, good. You need to kill. That's a max emotional level. All right. Like here's the here's the simple plan here. Hey, cauliflower. You, 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 you did. You were a great help. We'll, we'll never forget you. Bleed. Actually, cauliflower didn't even bleed to death. It was like, <laughs> if you give her false hope, she can do it. <laughs> it really is. Time to face the fear. I think Eugen's the one who faced the fear there. Hopefully we got a decent bit of Eugen books thanks for being emotional for. It doesn't show us them there, but yeah. That was a memorable guess. She was different in many ways, but still had a similar impression like a fixer I used to know. And we unlock that fixer you, you used to know from this fight, don't we? You have a fixer you used to know. No. Have you heard of Kali? Kali. 
Golly? She was nicknamed the Red Mist. Oh, of course I do! She's the most distinct fixture, even among the colors! How do you know her? It is interesting how, like, this does tell us that. We do know that no one knows what happened to the Red Mist, right? Like, no one in the city knows where she went. They assume she just vanished off the face of the world one day, I guess. She used to do all the cool stuff and then suddenly disappeared, yeah. No one knows in the city, barring, of course, like, the head and stuff. But, like, average citizen residents, they look up the Red Mist, no clue where she went. Maybe that's, like, one of Dawn's dreams. Is to, maybe, like, Dawn's dream is, like, find the Red Mist one day. Like, Dawn's probably the kind of person who'd be convinced that the Red Mist didn't die and is still out there and is just searching, right? Let's just say that she was a former colleague of mine. The Red Mist was powerful. Really, that's the only way to put it. Powerful. No, no, she's gonna look into your seat there and some extra books. Yeah. She only took requests for others, not herself. I thought, man, it surely is true that you can do whatever you want when you're that strong. Then when Arva's death and failure publicized, yeah. The floor of language and its librarian is. It's Gabura. Jeez, this place stinks of cigarette smoke. We got a heavy drinker down below and now a heavy smoker up above. The CG is so funny. We're all just getting smoked. I to smoke all I want now that I have a body that never gets sick. Is that the red mist? The old red circle, arrows, arrows? By the way, it wasn't the tie she won. Pot can go. Pot isn't here, so yeah, you can say that, and there's no one to dispute, I suppose. None. You must be wrong. Angela Angela's helping him. Like in the smoker. Yeah, maybe it's giving him PTSD. Yep. You know a lot for someone who just woke up. Mm, not sure if that really counts as sleep. Her miss did also kind of die, though. Yeah, but she won. That's, that's what Melon's saying. I'm here. Hello, Leah. Ah, it's a ruinous stream. Yep. Finally back. She says, she, yeah, Bina thinks she could win if she knew. There's not, like, any proof behind that, unless you want to count what happens, like, at the end of Lob Corp, you know, like, post-Lob Corp, really, where they assumably fought. We don't actually know how that turned out, though, really. I don't know. Well, that means you basically know what's up. No. You're a fixer, eh? Uh-huh. Just a grade 9, though. Don't you pull my leg. What are you here for? Yeah, Gabura sees through his, his lies, or his... Not his lies, but... Since it is technically not lying... Harris Gilliam didn't quite work with PM because of how vague some things are. Yeah, when, like, basically anyone can be like, you know what? I'm I'm listening to the voices and become, like, a huge monster. Power scaling is a little weird. Angela may have been naive enough to buy into your lies, but you aren't fooling me. What are you talking about? Have we met before? You see, I have some experience as a fixer in my first life. I can get a rough estimate of a fixer just from their looks. And you're definitely more than some clumsy grade 9. Did you make a scene and get demoted or something? Things happen out there. I'm not lying about being grade 9 fixer, I swear in my grandma. I don't know what you're plotting to pull off, but you'd better stay in line as long as I'm here. Dumb big boss you are. I wasn't plotting anything in the first place. Doesn't hurt to keep an eye on a fixer who made enough big mess, big enough mess to be demoted to the bottom. Unless you're just a fraud. Ooh, Roland, fraud. The fraud silence. That's enough talking for now. You get me the books and I'll figure out the language. 
red broad jokes are very funny to me. I, like, I, I get both sides to VH. I do not get both sides. <laughs> it was, like, a funny bit for, like, a second, but then far too many people took it seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what makes you think you're so much better than me? What was your grade? The Red Mist. The Red Mist? <laughs> like they, they literally even include an entire scene in Canto 6 to be like, guys, it's really obvious that Virgilius isn't, is not able to do anything. Like, do we need you to spell it out? Because some people that really did need to get spelled out to them. He's gonna be firing Canto 6. He already was fired in Canto 6. He explained the... Yeah, okay. I shouldn't get into it. It's one of those things that annoys me a lot. Virgilius is cool. He's like Kiryu. He literally is like Kiryu. Like, he just can't protect the, the people he cares about anymore. Like, you know, forced to, like, live in peace. Yeah, we get some page and librarians from that, which is very nice. What do we need to do to... Oh, book of question mark. I forget which one we need to do before we unlock that. This is going to be a fun fight, though, that's for sure. But first and foremost, before we get to that, we've got some stuff to burn. Mm, burn a bunch of these first. Actually, burn the generic feed stuff first, shouldn't we? Burn a bunch of these, starting off. Got a bunch of stuff from just burning the normal books. And now we can actually burn these books. Oh, we've already actually gotten all the Valentin Tenma pages, huh? Why is it like that? Why is it 0 to 2 for Tenma and 0 to 3 for Valentin? And the max is, for, is, both, is 3 for both of them. Don't know why it's like that, though. Yeah, we just get a bunch of B pages now. Uh, Yujin, we get to burn 3 of her books. Pretty good chances we get some decent stuff here. Might need to do a redo the fight, and if so, that's fine. You didn't page boundary death. We do not need to redo the fight. That's everything we need. Let's see. Reno can get that Eugen's page. Sure thing. For the bit. What's seen a stick works with discard lead pages get plus two power to two dice page well. Hmm, yeah. The funny bit. Boundary of death though, it's the funny. Uh what else do we want from you? Probably some there's definitely some good stuff here. Overcome crisis, of course. Very nice to have. I wanna throw in like an actual normal weight up too though. Actually we can do something like that, so that should work. Endless battle is nice. Uh, if we can get around the torment, no. Brought memories, faint memories. That's the one I'm looking for. Yeah, like that. Oh, it's good for a one cost. One costs are weird. Flash of Sun does more draw. We kind of need that. The bit. We'll, we'll commit to the bit, why not? Uh, and we need another, like, high cost, don't we? Another three cost or something. Take, like, a transpear or something, I guess. Oh, observe. We take observe for the bit. Maybe the X-King look from Reno. Good. Change it to, I could change it to appearance projection, though. Right? Reno, Appearance Projections, Olga, Option B. Oh, I see. Okay. I'll change that. This one's not Workshop. Olga is here. Option B. Sure thing. We'll roll with that. As you go do a genuine question. Yeah. 
a lot of the egos are not very clear on in terms of what they actually do. Okay, now two people have actually... You know what, we're gonna go for this bit. Let's give Reno Olga. That probably works better, doesn't it? And we'll give Hod Yuchin. Hod Yuchin, why not? Funny. That's probably good enough. We'll use Hod's floor a little bit. Uh, first things first, we've got two Sizzling Librarians here. We'll spin the wheel once now. We'll do one more fight and then probably spin the wheel again, right? So first off, let's create a new poll. So you guys can vote what comes next. Faces. Circus. Puppets. There we go, start poll. You guys can vote what comes next. But while you guys are voting on that, we will spin the wheel again. It sure is gotcha time. We get to see who this person is going to be. I'm pressing the wrong tabs, it's so hard to do. So long as they're paired with smiling is prob winning. I mean fair enough. Smoke is funny. It is also funny to give you options to do the stuff on the second row first when I haven't done it through the entire row. I think it'll add to a little bit right. Let's spin the wheel though. Enough stalling. Let's see who shows up next. It is Gandro. Alright. Let's take a look at what Gandro is going to be. I'm missing the first thing. Bot sometimes late, it's not a thing, it happens. Bot will show up sooner or later, maybe not this stream, maybe another one, we'll see. Yeah, let's see, so... This is Gandro. Alright. Hairstyle, bangs, 13, backside, 19, hair color, oh yeah, hair color, you 110, this is annoying, come on, come on, it's almost, uh, it's almost there, 110, 110, come on, I'm only settling for perfection, I don't know if it's gonna let me get perfection though. Okay, it's not going to let you have friction. I'll roll with that then. Saturation 100, brightness 54. Okay. Mouth 11. Eyes 4. Eyebrow 4. Nothing else specified there, so that works. Anything for me? Eugen or Valentin for the appearance projection? Uh. Oh, Valentin. Valentin's a little interesting. Eugen's kind of classic, but Valentin is also nice, so we'll roll with that. This person. Um, battle symbols, headwear, Zvi honorary crewmate, I feral captain, and nose uncanny grin. Even is this one? What? <laughs> what even is this one, huh? During a single act of the Star City. I'm can't say it's Martina. So just make your skin darker. What? That's the wrong thing. Okay. I don't. I don't. Oh. Uh, all right. Sure. Um. Quote time though. Well, haha. If anyone's scared, tell me. I'll block all the attacks coming. Okay, it's this one. Another win for uh, the insert for her name here. Okay, I know this person probably wants me to put in the floor name here, but it would be really funny if I didn't <laughs> insert the floor name, I think. In the rest of you guys. Keep moving forward, that's 
what they would have wanted. And then just a bit more, we have the advantage. We'll have to make your own deck. Eugen or Kim, Miyuki Page or W Corp. Okay. Not gonna I'm not gonna stick to making your own deck stuff yet. That'll come later down the line. Second that is still Oh doubt's still on the wheel. Ooh. I thought I hit the button to get rid of it, but I guess I didn't. That's fine, I'll make sure I do that. It's the shadow on the eyes. Oh, I see. It just doesn't work here, I guess. I see. The name here, Floor. True. And then Yum Yum, we will do this after we do Smiling Face. Oh no, Surface is one. Oh. I thought Smiling Face were winning because I didn't check. No, Circus one. All right. I'm not going to meet the second row. That's cool. Circus it is. So we'll do Circus and then we will uh, set this person up. Seems good. We're going to use Hod Floors here so we can potentially get some Eugen. Oh, yeah, Eugen passives. Uh. Commit to the bet. Commit to the bit. Is there is there nothing else for healing, right? I guess I should check. Yeah, that's it. We'll get health hauler in due time, but that's fine. Remember they said sign of Rizzo connected to Jesus? I was right. Yeah. I think that was fairly hoppy. <laughs> the... You have the cheese to go to the Jewish guy. Yeah, tomorrow sure is Easter. How swell. Oh. I'm out of Wedge Office books. Why am I out of Wedge Office books? Alright. Uh, whoops. <laughs> it happens, I guess. We'll just have to kill you guys then. Unmodded ruin a moment. It's funny like that. It's funnier like this, I'd say. Okay, you're, are you going for Transpierce Melee? You sure are. Awesome. We're gonna observe you then, I think, for the bit. No, we won't. We'll, uh... Same memories. This does not work. That's fine. We'll roll with it. It's a clash, technically, so that's good. You're being hit by a bunch of things. Some of the stuff we cannot redirect is unfortunate. You know, this needs to... Actually, we can just ignore that, can't we? Hot will take some damage, it's fine. We'll live with that. I mean, he feels like crown with the white knight aberration because probably count that 9 flowers is not the same as 12 followers. 9 flowers? I don't know. You know, it's probably 1 sin. Just, it's 7 sin affinity to flowers. I don't know, does the actual sprite have, like nine red flowers on it is that what you're saying it's seven you mix with the numbers oh uh, yeah thing in the nine floors in ruina i said you're bad at counting fair enough it's not accounting is not really something you need to be good at right sometimes it's like that we're gonna ignore that. We want to redirect that with someone. Actually, we're gonna need to do that there. We'll also throw on like a cleanup on you because we kind of just want you dead, don't we? We can't kill you, kill you immediately, unfortunately. As much as I'd love to kill you, kill you immediately. That doesn't work right. I meant to, yeah, I meant to do that there. That's right. That's all you can do this turn. That's fine. You need to clash someone, right? Okay, Phil, if it is. Faint memories, that, and then you can just will be tasty. This person, I guess. You can stay calm, this guy. Okay, let's go. Let's even talk about Otis. Alright. Imagine we get to each have each center fight their unique antagonist solo. I don't think solo is a good idea. Forcing you to go solo kind of means that there's less you can do with the fight, right? I don't know. I think each person should be, well, be forced to be there for their respective fight. I think solo, having fights that are forced solo is kind of bad for, you know, uniqueness, right? So, which the watch is broken.
Yeah, we can get look of the day for more power on you. Or is he going to have share three ego, which is ridiculous? Yeah. I think... For some of them, I think it has to do with, like, the bit of, like... Because for... That, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because for... I mean, because that's including Sun Shower. Sun Shower, it's for, like, the questionable love interests thing. Or not questionable, but, like, the rough love. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. They've got... They've each, they've each got, you know rough situations uh romantically they're in because like penelope i'm sure is you know I'm sure there's something very interesting going on there uh oh holiday oh yeah that's true holiday yasin yada and binds and the oh yeah i can actually pull up an excel document for that i don't think yeah I've got an Excel document that has every ID and all their standard things. Yeah, every single, literally every single Heathcliff ID has Envy on it to some degree. And yeah, not a single Otis ID with Envy in the slightest. It's pretty wacky. Some other notices, things like that. Um, Merso doesn't have a single Gluttony. I might be the only other one. Gregor didn't have a Pride until Twin Hugs, but yeah. Oh, Otis doesn't have, a, doesn't have a single Envy. Merso doesn't have a single Gluttony. And every single Heathcliff ID has envy on it interesting Merso is oh yeah that's true i don't have the new ids on that's true i forgot i i already forgot about dead rabbit <laughs> it's just that forgettable we're gonna boundary this guy i think we're gonna boundary fill up why not it'll be funny it was funny it's supposed to be a joke Whatever he says. Okay, calm that. Oh, you can yourself that. This will work. Okay, the face was angry for far too long. Ryoshi with gloom. Is Ryoshi really not a medieval with gloom? Did I miss that in the spreadsheet? Or is Oh yeah, Ryoshi doesn't have Gloom. That's the other one I missed. I see. Yeah, Ryoshi doesn't have a single Gloom. Do we get you to... We do. Okay, we get you to Unrelenting Points so we can kill him next turn. Yeah, Blade Lineage didn't have, didn't have Sloth on Yi Sung. Serve. Overcome Crisis. And you're related with time how? Uh, I don't know. Time brews resentment or something. I'm sure there's some sort of thing you can go there. But, like, time's a pretty big thing for, like, every center to some degree. I don't know how easily you can make that, you know, connection for all of them. Because, like, stuff like Gregor time is important, too. Because, you know, the war still traumatized with that, right? Edgar made a fantasy game. Do they have Gloom? Probably do. I don't remember. I don't pay attention to any syntax usually because it really doesn't matter most of the time. Uh, axe for you, sure thing. You guys left, shouldn't be too bad. yellow i mean t corp is probably gonna be sloth heavy because sloth is the closest related to time sin affinity i think i do think some of the t corp enemies do have envy attacks like, i think they've got like a rough envy like single coin attack i'm not mistaken i have this portrait makes you divergence I mean, color for everything you try hard enough. Yeah. It's kind of hard for a lot of things. The sins can have a lot of meanings to them. There's a lot of ways you can read each sin, right? 
kind of can make it a little bit rough. Let's see, we're gonna kill this guy though. I know you guys all love when we kill this guy. I do know we could boundary this turn, but I'm going to boundary next turn, right? This turn we observe so we can get, you know, a little bit more power on next turn's boundary. I forgot to wait for the head, uh, or the face. We still want to all our clashes at least, but that's unfortunate. It's annoying. We get crazy because it charges you with WT and R Corp and charges associated with Envy. Yeah, they're all related to charge because they're related to Lob Corp, though, really. Because they they have to rely on, like, the power of L Corp a lot, or they used to, I think. If I look at it, at least. We've taken a little bit of bleed because we attacked you a bunch. That's fine. We can live with ourselves, I think. Okay, we're going to boundary you this turn, though, and we're going to hit it. And you're going to like it. It's gonna be kind of weird if you like it, but like, you know, you're gonna have to put up with it, right? What ego do you think needs a buff? A lot of them really do. What's the reason stuff is like that? Bloom is thinking Wrath is burning, buff, tremor, and charge, but you're like, breathing, pride is poised. Yeah. That's how it's used, but Sin's gonna have multiple, like, connections to it. That's, like, the basic- that- that's- that's how it is. You can tell because that's how fusion gifts work, right? Yeah. So he uses Neutrinos for Fail Corp, yeah. And he'll use it. You can make, you can definitely correlate time and envy together. I mean, you can correlate a lot of stuff with time. I think mean, sloth is one that's most obvious with time. But like, I'm sure there's a lot of things you can, a lot of like connections you can try and make, right? That's how it goes. It loves resisting our attack. We need him dead. Rosé desire. What would you do? Uh, make their effects next turn instead of current turn, probably, for some of them. Because that's the annoying thing, right? I might, I don't use them enough. That's probably the main thing. Because a lot of their effects are really annoying because they need to actually be high speed for them to do much of anything. And they don't really have any very, like, speedy IDs. Making positive coins. That's also true. They don't really have any good IDs to work well with them. That's right. That doesn't appreciate your genius, unfortunately. It's an interesting theory, that's for sure. I think it's hard to make too big of a connection, that's right. Because there's type of fastest ID in the game, that is true. Um I do not think Rose 8 Desire is good enough to warrant using base ish, not gonna lie. I do this like a high base roll and a ton of plus zero coins. Then there's no like randomness involved though, so it's like a relatively safe ID, which is kind of Boring. We love gambling. <laughs> I think the main issue is Rosie Desire isn't good enough to warrant it being same speed, because if you do focus on it, it still isn't good enough, right? I think that's the thing about it. That's at least how I look at it. Okay, we did that again. We got some monsters. We got another Book of Wedge office, so we can actually attempt the circus now. You enjoyed today's show? Laugh to your heart's content at the very end of a weary life. And maybe you could have a good eternity sleep. Oh, that is a weird effect. Is that just my second monitor being weird, I think? It is, yeah. Okay. So, like, I never noticed this before. You, maybe you can see it as you look really closely, but, like, on this black screen, you can kind of see it, like, pulsating a little bit. Or not pulsating, but it's kind of like waves. You can kind of see, like, the there's, like, a bunch of waves just kind of going down. I don't know if that's showing up the recording. It might just be my monitor. My second monitor, I can see it really clearly. It looks super weird, because my second monitor is, like, a low resolution. What's more tasty looking? New Super Mario Bros. Jungle Level Poison Water or Cake Corp Tears? Ooh, that's a hard question. So 
So that's a hard question. What do you guys think? Tears? Yeah. I think it's true. that We do love that jungle level poison, but I do think... I think Tears is a pretty solid choice. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's my monitor, I think. I think my monitor is being weird. Because I definitely do see it. But I think it's my monitor. Like, I guess if you... Any of you guys have, like, a weird monitor, you might see it. It might not... It might just also straight up not be caught. You never know, regular viewers of ours might get the chance to come on our stage in person. I give the new Mario Bros. Jungle looks like. Okay. Let's let's pull up an image of the new new Super Mario Bros. Jungle poison. This is critical, it is. But the third option of airport jungle juice. <laughs> this is this is here's an image I got off of the internet. That's what it, that's what it looks like. That's 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 the that's the poison. Always wanted to taste that airport jungle what is airport jungle juice? Airport jungle juice. It's a song? What? It's something with the airport jungle. What? I see. Interesting. It looks so delicious. Take your word for it. I don't know. It looks like so to like the ego true. <laughs> jungle juice. And, and I do not know. Five days no color stream just to a man. You sometimes you just need that. Sometimes you just feel the need for the airport jungle juice. Please <laughs> stop talking about color stream with it. It's for it's it's a pre for it's so no. It looked it up. It's like do you know it's like some airports have like these little funnels where um you, people just pour they're you're supposed to pour all your liquids here. And so the jungle juice, I think, is like... That's what I'm guessing. I can't download the image. It's it, it, it's this. It's this thing. Empty all liquids here. And it's like one of these things where you're just supposed to dump liquids in. This is, the, this is apparently the airport jungle juice. I've never heard that term before. And I think I'd be better off if I didn't know it, honestly. I, I don't think, I don't know if I, I might have seen one of these before. I don't, I'm not a frequent flyer, but I've been on the airplane a couple of times. Love to drink it in one golden parish on this spot. How is this, what, where did this term originate from? What is, is it just from a meme? Four years ago, what? Why is, why is this a common knowledge? Okay, I don't know. White jungle. I don't know. I don't know. The <laughs> jungle juice. We love. We love that air. That airport jungle juice. I guess. How? How could you not? All right. It would be so delightful to join me on the stage, wouldn't it? We'll be back at the same time tomorrow to bring you even more laughter. Nail your heads, everyone, and have a bloomy, floaty night. I can't believe you didn't know. You've known this for five minutes. <sighs> Proof. I think he nodded for the one guy who won the Kylala Stream Awards. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? There's a there's a lot of one guy moments there, do you see? Uh, the by what your boss said. How can I not be? I'm sick of nitpicks like that already. This is Noah. This is Noah Xenoblade. Uh, can't help it. We did make an error. He gets more than his blue. That is true. I'm like, look, look, I mean, it, it happens. Think about it, though. Of all the screens, it had to be the one in the farthest corner. It happened in the darkest nook cranny at the edge. 
그 중에서도 제일 끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝끝
In my opinion, at least. I'm gonna get four maps where you use a different level. Yeah. Yo, Pesgum God. Truth. Would be funny. I think giving someone, like, a bunch of magic girls, I think splitting up a different team would be funny. Sorry for so long you made a meme. Alright. Let me pull this up. We got the the jungle juice images. Did you just did you just go to the dong backfight and just use Soda Ryoshu just for the bit? One open wide. What? I oh, just googled it. Okay. That's that's better then, I suppose. Very specific though. Did you just look up like Soda Ryoshi and just I guess one of the videos was just her going in song. I guess that makes sense. Might as well. Yeah. <laughs> Forcing feeding Dong back jungle juice. Truly a scary thing. Which there do you think fits Jester of Nile? That is a good question. Nile is a hard thing to say. Yeah, and he's on that definitely is like an obvious choice. I think quite a few of them could definitely fit. I think the, the whole idea of Nile, like the idea of like nothing I do matters, really could hit. I I think Yi Song definitely fits the best, but I think that's that. So what happens when you don't get to the stream for a month? Oh yes, also, uh, another detour, but, uh, I think I'm planning on, uh, increasing my streams per week, two streams per week. I might try streaming, uh, probably Monday nights, too. I want to hear how you guys think about that. Like, probably, like, same-ish time on Monday. Because that's, like, probably the best other night for me to stream, funnily enough, because I don't have any early classes on Thurs on Tuesdays. And I also just don't have anything to do on Mondays, usually. Ruin again or something? Ruin again, probably. At least, unless there's ever something else. For, unless I have other ideas, it'll probably just be more Ruina. But I'd like to get through the game a little faster. And here's the thing. Next week, I won't be able to stream Saturday. So we have to miss another week. But if I start moving... Because Saturday is a day where I frequently have stuff that just goes on on Saturdays, unfortunately. So having another day could be good. Um... But yeah, the plan is probably going to start streaming on Mondays, too, same time. And we'll see how that goes. Starting this week, too. Yeah, I'll probably just... Yeah. So yeah, be ready just Monday, I guess. Monday, same time. And we'll see how that goes. Could be good. But yeah, I just wanted to bring that up. Because it's, 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 a, it's a funny idea. It's something I've wanted to do for a while. And I feel like I definitely could. Which we occurred, yeah. Well, N Corp, N Corp, Crude Inquisitor, Gregor is just such a perfect thing because that's the best way to get an N Corp, Gregor. But oh well. Who knows? They might be kind enough to tell us a way out of here. Whoa, this place is huge. It's a bit dilapidated, but it's much more fascinating close up. I think I saw something like this in a book. What do they call it? A cir- They were forcing Leo into the bath, into the blood bath. Oh my, could you be our new guests? The show just ended, though. Oh, what the? Who the hell are you? Oh, are you the owner of this place? We apologize. We drop by to see if there is someone here to give us directions. Oh, that sure sounds like troubly trouble. There's no need to be sorry, no. This is the 8 o'clock circus giving smiles to the smelly city dwellers. Let's skip introductions. My name doesn't matter too much. 
does it. For long past the archaic era of introducing each other with names and everything. And we sniff each other's wrists instead. No thanks. Emma, this place is weirding me out. Let's just skedaddle now. Oh dearie me, was I too scary for you? Hold your worries, I'm but a clown who wishes to rub lemons on everyone's tongue. And that one over there seems curious about our circus. And dude, he's naked. Yeah, I think I think it is just his skin. He's just distorted to that degree. This is just what he looks like, I think. I don't know. It's not obvious, I guess. Arbic might, Arbic might mention that. I'm trying to remember. Maybe we're thinking of Arbic to mention, but it might. Wow. Check this out, Noah. It's dark, but I see a lot of neat things here. Giant balls, different kinds of instruments. There's a lion and an elephant, too. And also... Also, we're like two hours into the stream. We've done one Avno fight and we've done one reception. It's real. I've never seen an actual circus before. The book said circuses like this passed into history long ago. Care to learn more about us? If you want, I can give you a nice special... A once-in-a-lifetime field trip. You've been feeling so stale, too. He keeps talking nonsense. Noah, it's too dark to find a path, so we might as well. Uh, whatever. I'm doomed to get fired anyway, so you take care of my future. Ah, you're such a joker. What a lovely friendship to behold. Come on in, then. Oh, and watch your feet now. Hungry flowers might bite you. Flowers can bite? Uh, we accept also procedure. It seems chill, honestly. Like you know, becoming a clown. We're uh, we're already all clowns, you know. I'm a I'm a silk song. I've been waiting for silk song. I'm a Hollow Knight fan. I've I, I've already got the clown makeup on, you know. He may seem cold and sharp, but on the inside he's actually soft and warm, like a fur coat. He's not a bad lion. People have left a good amount of five star reviews about Mr. Lion's belly. You see. <laughs> Hungry flower, pick a two of them, Ghoulay. Hungry flowers like chopper plants for zombies. Two immediate, like, reactions. Waiting for a mother for a thing in 2014. <laughs> Ooh. Are you, were you waiting for the one that was faked and never real? Is that the one I'm thinking of? I remember hearing about that. There was one, like, that some, like, a composer thing revealed, like, oh, yeah, this game didn't actually exist. It was just all edited to make it look like it was being developed and people were just using it to get money or whatever. I don't know. I don't think I'm too aware of. Hmm. Lion's teeth are oddly round and blunt. That's happening. Game, but it's still kind of... I may think it's something different. Then. What do you want about, Noah? They're so sharp, it could hurt you if you touched it. Are you too tired right now? Maybe I mistook them for something else in the dark. I don't really want to get into its belly, though. And this is Mr. Elephant. He makes the loudest noise in the circus. For realsies, he loves to sing so much all the time. We had to give him a candy to keep him quiet. I don't want anyone reporting us for noise pollution. This is in the middle of nowhere. I don't think there's anyone who... Don't be a silly moose. This is it. would be so sad to hear that. We have a massive ant nest beneath us. And we also have Miss Mermaid, Miss Hexagonal Clone Hat, Mr. Knife, and many, many others. Mrs. Mermaid joined us because she was so scared of the sea. She's very glad to be on land now. Very funny how the Miss Mermaid sure was our, you know, first, like, view into the stuff we'd eventually see in Canto Five of Limbus. That's strange. I thought mermaids are usually supposed to live in the ocean, they're underwater. <clears throat> this is why I don't deal with people who have cold rice for brains. We're talking about basic knowledge here. The uppity most very basic. Don't you know that living in the sea makes you fish food? I mean, mermaids are fish too? 
Bloggers! Earth sheet fish all the time! Ooh, getting so worked up without a character for me. Where was I? Uh. Well, Mr. Lemon Clown, these are the coolest circus crew I've ever seen. They're special. I feel like something about them speaks to my heart. Listen to the voice, listen to the voice, listen to the voice. Don't tell me you actually like this screwy tent. I'm not taking it. Don't be so sour, no. It's such a wonderful place, can't you see? And they can make people smile through tough times like this. A circus? I want to see it too. Forget it. This is just insane. You can stay here if you want. I'm leaving. You can tell I'm descending to say each time he does a voiceover in this <laughs> intro. True. We love we love insanity. But this is a rare chance. Ah, uh, you want to join us? Special, like special from oh, smile, like you go from lobotomy. I'd love to get a lobotomy. Pardon. Um, no, actually, I just wanted to watch your show. Hey, let me pull something up real quick. I want to. I want to show this. Just you know, just just because I can, really. So you shouldn't be falling for the promise of the PS2 from Carmen. Yo, wait, you Carmen can give you a PS2? Oh, I'm listening to the voice. Absolutely, that's worth it. Oh God, giant image. It happened. Gregor, he's currently sleeping so nicely. Look at him, look at how eepy he is. Look at how eepy he is. Gregor Cam, I'll get the Gregor Cam one day. I promise one day I will. He's just chilling though, he's just sleeping. I could honestly just like put it in the corner and it's like close enough to a face cam, right? Like he's he's asleep. It's close enough. I'll make it really small though. Eepy puppy. What is Gregor's favorite abnormality? That's a good question. But Gregor from the Commit True is people please don't make too much noise. Let Gregor sleep. He's out cold. He's um so he's got there's another dog uh who's like Gregor's best friend and he like played with her for like a solid hour and a half right before I started streaming. So he's like out cold. These volumes are completely unwatchable. They are, yeah. That's part of the fun, right? We <laughs> stream so good you got a gatekeep. <laughs> Oh, that's a big shame. Everyone couldn't understand my words and actions and left me one by one. Your page. I see your pals were the only ones who stayed with me till the end. The mermaid who snacks on jelly beans and seashells. The hamster who is so tall he can feed clouds off the sky. The name of the other dog is it Yuri. Fine name for it. No, the other dog's name is Foxy. Like, nah. He's right to the land of illusion ego. That's a good idea. I know you're you're dog at that chains of others, DC. Um, Gregor, I think Gregor can use Land of Illusion. I just give him like a ribbon. So he can like pursue them to the end. You want to see the? I do too. The hand, like that Mister Hanster, sounds like a goat. Like imagine like it being so tall, it just goes off screen. That'd be rough. Oh dear. I earnest efforts to bring merry smiles to people who are adored by Mrs. Sun, who then whispered to me that she will make my wish come true. Yeah. This is the first time they actually mentioned Garmin uh, in the game, I think. Very silly. It was the outrageous head blowing wish to throw up my secret bells. So I am now living the dream of my life, joyfully performing at the circus with my friends every night. The circus is okay, they've probably gone feral. It would be such a perfect mid-chapter. Like, I'm hoping that, like, like the Hong Lu Kanto mid-chapter will just go to the circus or something. It would be fun. Joy. Dreams. 
It's rather obvious that you'd be attracted to us. I do understand your feeling. Oh, I do. Can I really be happy if I joined your circus? You don't say. Every moment of your life will be filled to the brim with a thrilling taste of pepper. I'm going to be fired from J-Corp for my mistake anyway. I don't want to go back to the back streets either. Even if I got to keep my job, I don't want to set foot in the living hell ever again. It's really hard to start talking about politics. <laughs> that is not the play. I hate to break it to you. I do not think talking about politics is the play here. Uh, I just wanted to watch the world this, watch this world in the skies from a higher place. We're quickly talking about Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Roland Brigham Reagan. True. <laughs> Malcolm is quickly uh, quote uh, Winston Churchill. Ended up on Hong with Grandma Circus. <laughs> And when I finally scratched and clawed my way up, I just stare at boring screens until I get fired. Noah, if there's anything I can help you with... What? <laughs> You're still making a mockery of me. It's always money, money, money. You say you can solve my problems with money. Do you think everything will work out by simply throwing money? Your favorite canon PM verse, Jesus, Winston Churchill, Ronald Reagan. Um, let's see, who else is canon Project Moon? What are some other stupid, like, connections we can make? Um, like, not talking about, like, book characters and stuff, right? Like, sure, like, the Yisong in the books and stuff is based off the real-life Yisong and that sort of thing. Who else is canon? What are some other stupid bits? Um, Dracula's canon because they because Gabor and Bina quote Dracula and Richter the whole the quote what's the quote? What is a human a measly pile of lies? Because that's they quote that and that's from Dracula, right? So you know Dracula Castlevania is real. I can't buy hats. Money can buy things that can make you happy. So I can't this Noah's talking about. Yeah. Why do you even follow me into that department in the first place? You could live fine without it. No, you know what? Just, just forget it all. Hey, the clown over there. I want to be a part of your crew. Join my circus. Uh, oh, yikes to the half. The mood doesn't seem to be right here. Yeah, it's a quote from Castlevania, but uh, Roland and Bina quote it for the bit in like one of the Bina cutscenes. You can't join us if you're hanging out with a meanie tears, you know? Ah, I'll help you say goodbye to those mean friends blowing down your cheeks. We'll be friends with each other when you open your eyes. Billy and I probably are. Now then, let's... Ah, so you're finally awake. Trying to cross the border, weren't you? You were asleep for so long, I was almost starting to worry about it. Place a well-cooked drumstick on your nose. The world, my eyes, too many worlds. What the hell? I'm making my head spin. No worries, you'll get used to it soon enough. A present for an observant and curious friend. Dying. Dying. Yeah. I gave you eyes and glance at everything, from ants on the floor to spiders on the ceiling. Since it is a welcoming gift from us. Okay, okay. He's looking at me now. Oh boy. What? What is that even? Emma. Where's Emma? It's okay, Noah. Although I can't see where you are, I've been next to you this whole time. I could finally help you as who I am, not in the form of material wealth. You were right. I live a sheltered life, so I don't know much. The scenery I saw would simply pass by. I'll lift you up. You'll be able to see more things from the new heights. They're so gendered, true. I'm glad that you seem to like our gifts! You can also see uh, Mr. Elephant and Mr. Lion a little bit easier here. I have one favor to ask of you two, however. What's that? Actually, 
battery eyes came into our circus tent some time ago and swallowed by friends. Talking about, you know, Wedge off as being silly. Poor Mrs. Hippo and Mr. Ball. I was so sad that they met friends as long as three. And my big and magnificent house was ruined thanks to them. That's awful. Who were the culprits? It doesn't matter who they were. All I know is that they later went to a place called the library. Our splendid service has never failed once, but for some reason we couldn't move their heart. Yeah. Wedge Ovis is a bunch of heartless, blood-born guys. People. I want to know who why. Oh no 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 who? I wonder how they didn't pop them. We can read their books. I could hold service. It's so entertaining. Even people like them will shake their souls, don't you think? Feels uncertain, but if the way is written in their books, we'll be able to hold an even grander circus. Excellent mic peak there. It, I'm sure it was. The mic settings are awful, isn't it? It peaks a lot, doesn't it? That's fine. Is it really okay to enter that place, though? Oh, how compassionate of you. I knew I could count on you, too. <laughs> if you manage to return, we should throw a party to celebrate it. We'll feast on otherworldly delicacies like the sea cocktail garnished with a piece of cloud and lion cream and silly fries. Sounds promising. What do you say, Emma? Shall we go? If that's what you want. Ugh. <sighs> And there's Mr. Knife and Miss Mermaid in there. You now I have a lot to prepare. He can answer the comedy. It really does. First off, for the duo, for a hefty feast that'll make their teeth groan. I need to recruit more members for my circus. Practice Miss Mermaid's skill main, and then. Oh my! Who is this rude intruder? What? Where am I? I was. Fighting inside the library. Oscar was an idiot. Like, why, why would you set your teleportation device to still go to the circus before putting on Philip? Like, what about... Oh. <laughs> are you perhaps a new clown? Or are you simply here to watch our show? No, I... It's good either way. Holding a teeny little performance for a jesting visitor should be as easy as chewing cold, high-flavored gum. This is the 8 o'clock circus. Bring the best of the smells to the city people who have lost their flower stock. What? The 8 o'clock circus? Huh. I was wondering where Philip got sent with Oscar's device, and he had to be dropped there of all places. Two melons, yeah. Uh, Alpaca Al Pacino has a melon profile picture. Multiple melons. How, how scary. This one person gets strong. Also, what is he went and they can stole a mermaid. It happens. Curious about what that nut job of a clown is up next. The imitation cuts things off at odd times. It could have shown us just a bit more. He's not today's guest, so it doesn't matter much, does it? And the imitation simply slurs what we need to see, so don't complain about it. Fair enough. Putting that aside, a tall guy and a guy with four eyes, literally. Both look fancy, but neither seems normal. Neither? Neither? I don't know. One who needs help from another person to stand high. I'm not sure I understand. Do you do that? happen to be greatly? Don't mind. Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Oswald's the kind of guy to lick his fingers whenever he sees a mermaid and be like, don't mind if I do, and just pluck one out of the water and just take it with him. Do we think he had, like, a circus boat at one point? Like, do you think, like, the circus was just on the Great Lake for a while? It probably could travel around or something. Maybe he just got, like, a, like a mermaid and just plucked it up while he was there. He was like, oh, you look, you seem sad. Join my, join my crew. <laughs> frightening if true, true if frightening. Goes both ways. Well, you don't have much choice unless you're born to a rich family, you know? Being gifted child won't matter if you don't have the money to support, I guess. You know, Oswald was before he distorted. 
not at all not a single clue well, everyone else in the store itself we have like an idea of their backstory oswald's just like that he probably was just some random like office worker or something who got fed up with everything that's the best guess usually a change to the hard work alone cannot earn recognition and that's usually the case for people who aren't blessed with pure fortune if what you said is correct having more money would lead to happiness but the man we saw was angry about the idea rather than being happy what is that it differs from person to person could be his last bit of pride could be the fear of earning that reputation of a greedy man who only makes friends for their wealth on top of that it kind of hurts too the life also can be to have someone who can gladly give you money to help. It can make you feel upset and slight at the same time. Upset about what? A person like that in distortion objective, no. Yeah, it's like there's the case of the balloon headed people, just office workers, like people who take calls, like just getting so stressed their heads blow up. It happens a lot. <laughs> they need to fill a quota. They only had so many middle members to choose. About how you had to give up everything you dreamed for because you weren't wealthy enough, and your friend is readily able to take to give away the money you need, like it's chump change to them. And you're basically dragging that rich friend into your messy life by getting financial help from them. Wouldn't that be morally distressing? Me with a friend who simply wanted to help, but didn't know the best way to go about it. Whatever the case, it's about how the receiver takes it, regardless of the intention. I see. Going back to our guests who willingly joined the freak show, I guess they were that desperate to achieve their dreams, huh? This world truly is big enough to fit all kinds of weird freaks. I can understand one never refuge from reality somewhat. Even then, thinking about what kind of hideous body might be hiding with their beautiful clothing, ugh, it's making me wretch. Curb your unnecessary curiosity. You focus on the reception for now. He's not going to receive them, though. He's just going to watch. Kettery's kind of bad at this point. Am I on the right track? Are we still far from the library? No, it's right ahead of us. Take slow steps, just in case. For a place that's supposedly full of monsters, it's actually rather quiet and clean. I think this place is big and fancy, but not as much as our dear circus. My head isn't bumping on any ceilings. Greetings, dear guests. I am Angela, the director and librarian of my role's namesake. Hello, can you hear my voice? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. There's no need to shout at the top of your lungs. He's right below us, buddy opal <laughs> Buddy opal of mine. And think of me who has to hear your voice up close. All oh, these goobers are one of the few guests to get special CGs. Yeah, the only other person who gets a CG like this is like... I mean, obviously, Yun does, Olivier does, but like... You could... Like, kind of, you could argue Bremen does... But they kind of get a different one. It's not actually of them. It's of Angela, and it's like after the reception, right? Because her getting to act. Yeah, that's true. Xiao gets one just talking to Angela. Is that it? It might be. Or does Angela look like Angelica? Uh, because uh, you're colorblind, probably. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I thought people down under wouldn't hear me well since I'm so tall. Angela, if you manage to get all the books we need, I'll invite you to our next performance. I'm sure those books contain the secret to making more people happy. With that, we'll be able to turn your cold stare into a hearty smile. I was like, Australia, Australia, real confirmed. What? And then I scroll up. Very funny. The people down under. Yo, the city is in Australia confirmed. 
We promise to bring you happiness, so please, look forward to it. Yes, I appreciate your sentiment. All the guests have CG, right? Only normal, some of them are in the library. Yeah. I think all the guests have CG. There might be... Is there any random ones that don't? I think they all do. Some of them hard to remember. Some of them are CGs is them just standing around. Some of them is more memorable. But yeah, it's interesting the ones that the CG is actually in the library instead of outside of it, though. May you find your book in this place. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, the plan is probably using you properly here, yeah, so we can get some Yujin shenanigans. Well, 8 o'clock circus time. We're finally... I'm curious, how long... I get the circus music now. How long exactly did we, uh... Spend... On that, I wonder... Okay, we... We started the CG... 43, 44 minutes ago, it seems. So that was a 44 minute. Is that right? Is that right? It seems like it's right. Uh. Not three fights. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Don't have to get rid of these. Don't want to get that getting in the way. I know your passive is probably well enough. All right. Uh, what's the plan here? Listen to circus music. Goes hard. Okay, can't do anything good there. Just overcome crisis. That I guess. Um, speed, speed, speed. Who's got bad speed? You've got the worst speed here. You just like look. You have a dodge you can use. Maybe. Flash of Silence could work, okay. Could be awesome. Don't want to get hit by all those after all, so you know, might as well try it. This one we can't redirect too easily, so we'll do that one next. Daring Decision, okay, that works well. That's all you can do this turn, that's fine. <laughs> it's not unlocked by the airport joint, but it really is. You got staggered by it. What a strange thing. I'm still, not, I'm still definitely not over that. I'm far from being over that. But like, 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 I don't know. Kind of thing where I think I kind of got to move on. Otherwise, you know, I might be lost in the jungle juice forever, right? As they say. Normal, normal phrases people say frequently. Lost in the jungle juice. Yeah. We'll try that. For the ego to inflict poison, finally. The tremor burst. Jungle juice. Yeah, Sam, did Sam jump in the jungle juice? That's a good question. It would make a lot of sense. Limit through the healer group. Yeah, Faust fluid stack exists. Merso, like, pursuance is also, like, a big component of that, but, like, fluid stack, Faust spam, yeah. It's just kind of too good for that. Flash some of those. We can faint memories that, you know, we should just overcome crisis, the juggling. Oh, uh, can you clash for that? You can clash like circus knives. Actually, you could faint memories this. That works. That'll work well. Uh, you can clash from people. Is that a bunch of clashes? Okay, yeah, it is. Good to know. Flank, we can do that in like something week, right? Like a circus knives. Yeah, that'll work. Sharpen blade, that thing. Is that all clashes? Okay, yeah. So we'll go for some one-side attacks on you. We'll just target that and redirect it. Dude. Okay, that'll work. Probably fine enough. Buy melon too. <laughs> you got an idea that's based on healing allies. Who do you think would get it? I don't know. It's hard to say. A lot of people have, like, a healing option, right? But, like, there's not a lot of great allies for... There's not a lot of IDs for good, that are good at healing. Like, closest we've got is probably Chef Ryoshu. 
But that's like passive. It's kind of inconsistent, right? That's the big issue with it. Oh, toppled. Nice. Oh, uh, we could kill the little guy this turn if we wanted to. We probably can't. That's fine. You're going for your attacks and stuff. Your normal stuff. We could bound. That's the boundary, the little guy. <laughs> the boundary him. Actually, we're clash. We need to not clash that though. Clash is laid up. That'll work. Sinclair would be funny. Yeah, Sinclair would make a lot of sense, honestly. Sinclair's got multiple healing egos, depending on how you look at it. Both his test options are healing, and he's also got Lantern. Makes sense. Prince Musa do the healing. Yeah, we're talking about, like, IDs focused on healing, though. Yeah, Sinclair's got Stew, he's got Impending Day, and he's got Lantern. We're using Cake or Pongo Pets. Funny imagine. It's such a funny video. Like, the fact he found a way to potentially stack 9 protection on base Merceau is so funny, and then he proceeded to never get it trigger. Like, that is so tragic in such a comical way. Oh, they're clashing everything. Not actually clashing everything with, like, good attack. Necessarily. I forgot about the face. That's bad. That's really bad, actually. Okay, that was unfortunate. Shh. So I feel like two from the clash with this with that feeling. Now, we're talking about someone who's, like, actually, like, an ID focused on killing allies. Like, Chef Ryoshi is the best option for that there is, but that's not great for that, per se. Not doing great here. The face kind of really hurt. Okay, uh, you need to not fail. The heal by four. Oh yeah, the slight <laughs> increase. How oh, awesome. Okay, we do have another boundary. Let's not bother with it this turn, though. Uh, stuff we can't clash. We cannot clash a lot of things. Cool. Awesome. We went Daring Decision that? No, we probably should Fear Song slot that. Daring Decision the Elephant. Monkey. Uh, you're soft, the monkey. You're gonna get shot. You get staggered and you get shot. Okay, that's actually kind of what you need to clash against then. We can't redirect that with anyone else. Um, and you... Kill elephant duty, potentially. Might be an idea. You can clash that, I guess. And eh, probably should observe that, shouldn't we? Yeah, observe that. We'll be tasty the elephant to do some damage. Actually, we can do this much better, can't we? We could... We'll be tasty the monkey... Observe the let the show begin. Um, and then you can ink over the lion. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. Ink over the lion. It's that simple. Okay, you got stagger anyways. Okay, monkey might just kill uh oh my god. We'll see. He staggered elephant, that's good. You grab this undisputed backseat healer. Yeah, passives. Something I forgot about the face again. Yeah, I'm 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 cooked. Ugh. This is why I hate using hot floor because I never remember. I think it's staggered enemy. Sure. Endless battle the doubling, I guess. Block it and faint memories. This sure that'll work. You can another thing and use this basic flute tech fast you think should get it. Uh, I think they should just give it to Merso. Honestly. Because he's already got pursuance and I do not want anything like I don't even want fluid tech. It's kinda of too stupid. A little bit of a fluid sack denier personally. Is it good? Yes. I don't like it though. Do we have a stew segment? We we basically did, yeah. I forgot about the face again! I'm so good. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Sunshower Heathcliff. Hello, hello, Sunshower Heathcliff. <laughs> the goat? The goat is in chat? You're the sun Yo! The goat. Kill a child. We, we can't. Oh, that's unfortunate. We'll live, I guess, but. 
Would have been really nice if we could at least, uh... Maybe potential man, let's go. We love that sun cliff. Okay, that was unfortunate. The face is also an accident then. I'm so cooked. I'm so unbelievably cooked. Armor on bled to death. We're actually gonna get cooked by the circus. Genuinely, it's about to happen. Counter game paralysis something true. We're fine. We really are. I just need to not be stupid, which is a really tall task, I think. There we go. Yeah, Armagon got- Armagon bled to death, because you're- It's because you're running G-Con! Kinda not a very good page for, like, survive- Okay, I'm about to fly at 1 HP. Alright. Okay, that's fine. We, we surely the elephant dies here. Surely the elephant dies already. Hate yeah, memories the uh, overcome crisis the juggling. You can lean up that and like flash sign up for draw. Sure, that'll be good enough. I lost the circus. No, no, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We'll, we'll, we'll pull through. We've got a... We've got 11 HP. That's We've got 11 HP on the Ujin. That's all we need, right? I'm not clashing the ranged page with that you cannot make me, but... God. We're fine, we're doing- we're doing alright, we're okay. Don't let Eugen die. Attack this buffoon. Clash with you, alright, we got this. Okay, daring decision pull- okay, that's good. <laughs> that alien noise. I made a weird- I was covering my mouth and I made a weird noise. That's the basic explanation. Okay. He's staggered. You kill him while- You don't kill him because of boundary with- We're so cooked. Okay, that's fine. We, we can pull through. We can pull through. It's- it's- it's not over yet, technically speaking. You were being technically. Uh... Do I have Lone Fixer on Eugen? Wait. Wait, do I have Lone- did I put Lone Fixer on Eugen? No, I didn't. Okay. I was checking. No, that was from Observe. I was like, wait, where did I get that three strength from? It's from Observe. Yeah, not great. Uh, we don't have good page for us, so that's not good. Dude, we're- We're healing a little because we're hitting an enemy that's staggered, so that's good. Okay, this turn's a little rough, though. Yeah, uh, we- all we've got is Overcome Crisis. We try seeing if we can beat the- that page, I guess? The ranged page? Okay, we kill Noah? We've got 40 HP, we're- we're fine? We're- we're goaded? You're depressed now, you're depressed now, you can't do anything. Your friend- your friend's dead. Your friend's dead, you can't do anything. You're 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 worthless. You're worthless. We just gotta we just gotta demoralize him, that's the secret. Your friend is dead. You've got nothing, you've got you've got no purpose now. Perish. I couldn't clash that. I didn't have the speed to clash it. I'm gonna refight Wedge again. <laughs> All right. Send it back. Send it back. If Ottenberg do use this on, I'm running it back. You know, if I was smart, I wouldn't. You know, use. Yeah. 
If I was smart, I would not use G-Con, because G-Con is a little bit bad for us, because, you know, we, we die. But nah, we win. Make sure you can't flash both these unless I use bad weak attacks, so that's fine. We'll let you get hit. Oh, blink, blink, no, we can't ink over the child. What am I doing? You can't ink over the child. What are you doing? You can't. Okay. Yeah. How's gonna be over with action today? Yeah. We used Mal. We used Malkuth for uh for Shi Association. Like it's not only going to do that. I bleed death. You look at your main bleeding. True. We love we love blood. Hmm. Tasty. Well, I guess this fight isn't too bad, but it's unfortunate we have to do it. Okay, we're gonna try this again here. Uh, it'll be fine, I'm sure. We're gonna get you low enough, hopefully. Okay, we're gonna ink over fill up. There we go, that's what we want. All of our homeless random attacks will just go to Oscar to make sure we trigger his passive this turn. Now die. You can always use a firing squad. I could, that is true. Um, I don't think it's necessary to use the firing squad, but it is an option. It's not a very hard fight. I just threw away things by not paying him to the face nearly enough times. You can feed them life steal. AADD is great healing. I think people seem to miss that. AADD with Suncliff passive is just so super good healing. It's not like the great best thing, but like it works super well for certain fights. Let's cook this guy. That'll work. Cook this guy. Cook this guy. What nuggets have we got in this stream? Oh, uh, we've gotten two, right? Because we've got one in Tiv and we got one in Gaber. We'll get another one in Gaber once we clear Circus. But, you know, that might take, you know, another 40 minutes. Who knows? Who can say? Smile. All right. That's fine. We really shouldn't throw two. I mean, if we lose to Philip, it's not the worst thing. We lose the books, but we'll still get the wedge off and stuff, right? ADD, ADD passive. Yeah. It's, it's goaded. Sure, give you that. Sure, why not? We can't even clash, but alright, that's fine. We will, we'll, we will live with that. It's fine that we can't clash. We push through. We push forward. Keep on keeping on. We're gonna try boundarying one of these guys. It's probably not gonna work. It's not probably not gonna get the chance to go off, honestly, but it's worth a shot, right? Let's watch all Emma <laughs> Noah's story again. True, that's a good idea. Yeah. Sunquip passive is good. Especially because corroded AD you just give him 20 charge for some reason. But, you know, that's a couple charge. And the corroded is a negative coin, so, you know, it works well. And it's a mass attack. Like, you're probably going to want to AD like, certain fights. Like, you know, it's just super good for, like, end corp stuff, especially. Since they're nuisances. Okay, get some bleed going. We love bleeding. Double sharpened blade. We love it. If you're getting the observe this turn, that'll be funny, I'm sure. You're getting the double daring decision, sure thing. And we'll wait for the face. There we go. Yeah, you gotta be careful with corroded AD. That is true. You do lose 10% HP when you corrode it. It often pays off, though. You're fading ego passives? Yeah, there's a lot of really mid ego passives out there. Like, oh yes, finally, I can inflict maggots on, based on gluttony resonance with Lecker Domain passive. 
truly the most important benefit. Um, but there's definitely some good stuff there. Worth looking through some of them. There's definitely a lot that you don't need to bother about, though. That's for sure. It's the wrong thing. I was looking away. Maggots is dope, though. Is it? Pretty underrated, though. Is it? <laughs> It's like bleed, but like not good. Let me, let me, let's, let's pull it up. Maggots. You know, take gliding damage by the count, and then lower by one bleed count plus one. It's a plus one bleed count per turn. Like five mags is still one bleed count. That's the thing. It, the the. This is not good. Oh, well, this is the turn we get to kill you, because you've got your shield off. Yeah, we're gonna try boundarying you. We'll see if it works. It'd be really funny if it did. So I'm gonna pray it does. And we'll wait for the face. There we go. Perfect. Okay, Armagon bleeds out. Once again, it happens. It happens. Imagine, like, throwing <laughs> maggots on Ahab. Fair. I was gonna say that Telfel was also very good on Suncliff, or on Suncliff, though. Did he? Maggots, maggots is not unique bleed enough. Only thing that counts as a unique status effect in the game is um, Nails, Dark Flame, Red Plum Blossom. Those are the only things that count as unique, I believe. Tremor Decay doesn't count as unique Tremor because it just counts as straight up Tremor, in case you're wondering. It, but not quite. If I agree from this, it's not half a turn. It's one bleed count per turn. No matter how many maggots you have on someone, it's a single bleed count. Like, nails, it's bleed count equal to the amount of nail, but maggots is one bleed count per turn. No matter the amount of maggots. Okay, send it back. We're not reading the entire invitation. I know it's a funny idea or something, but no, we will pass. We rerun it back. We send it back. This time... Armagon might not die, right? Not like a hope. Eh. Need to listen to cloud music again. I'm going insane. We'll let the juggling go through. Why is it Maggot's unique bleed? It's probably because... For a simple reason, it doesn't do anything for you, right? Oh, whoops. I hate close that. Uh, thing. Here's the thing. Unique only matters because it triggers things. If you attack someone and you inflict maggots, it's either through a special effect, which wouldn't trigger ego gifts, or it's from using corroded Lego Domain itself, which is corroded Lego Domain. Actually, it might be. It, it, it might not, actually. Let's see. Is Does corroded inflict normal bleed with the maggots? No, it can inflict normal bleed, so it wouldn't actually make a single difference. That's the thing. So, Corroded Leg Remain, inflict 4 bleed, and inflict 6 maggots. If it was unique bleed, uh, maggots was, um... Then, it wouldn't change anything, because you're already inflicting bleed with it anyways, right? And the passive is, in, is inflicted through a passive. Passive infliction doesn't get affected by ego gifts or anything anyways. If maggots was unique bleed, it wouldn't change a single thing. Strangely enough. I don't think. Maybe, like, the things that require targeting... I don't think it works like that, right? Like, 
really unique bleed really only matters for like wound declared and like fusion gifts right so like on fusion gifts only matters like on ids and stuff it wouldn't make a difference i think in the slightest i might be miss i might be forgetting like some edge case but you use like a domain for paralysis and for a spamble aoe pretty much it is funny though couple other random, like, it's funny when there's just random status effects from certain, uh, things, though. I mean, it's not good. Like, it's still funny. That's an important part of it, the process. You know, the funny matters a lot. Oh, God, I'll have the new video might leave stream to watch. We don't have the face. It would trigger Rusty Knife twice, right? I don't think so. Because here's the thing, Rusted Knife, it's the same point, right? Like, if something inflicts two bleed, does it trigger Rusty Knife twice? I don't know for sure. It might. That might be, like, the edge case, then. I don't know, it wouldn't make that- It wouldn't be a big enough difference to make maggots good. You're not using Lagger to make for bleed, probably. Did you see the Xenoblade the artbook stuff? I did, I was going insane over it last night. What do they mean? What do- What- What is Takahashi cooking? That is the question, isn't it? Yeah, Rico. Oh, the, the, why are you like this? He's 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 just a he's just a dubious creature. He just he just he just made up his backstory so people would feel bad for him. It's like that meme, but it's actually fairly accurate. It seems it's about like him being like, oh, this sword was forged by like the people who did the sword forging or whatever. It's Xenoblade Eori, yeah, truly. We saved the boundary. For when it is time to bound. Are we hitting with that? Wanna change the chain? Okay, well, also, uh, Darren Decision. Or Fierce Onslaught here, I mean. Same thing. I forgot about the face. Okay, it's angry, though. I've been lucky with that occasionally, so that's nice. I think this time I'm just gonna actually kill the animals first before I bother one-siding Emino a bunch. And when are we talking about the fact that Gregor Arms suddenly one day has Sephiroth symbols? I, I don't know what to say, but that's the thing. My best guess is, like, I think his arm is probably, like, Herman might have been working with, like, early L Corp stuff, managed to, like, test on him or something with Ego stuff. I don't know. Because Herman mentioned that the arm, the gift, isn't fully unwrapped yet. Suddenly one day does roll very hyper base C, goes long as it rolls heads. Yeah, it's 14 plus 14, right? Or is that basically that? Something like that. Yeah, it's definitely a pretty high roll, but it's a pretty bad tails roll. But that's true for quite a few base C goes. Yeah. Not bad if you need a high roll. I think my personal opinion is it's better to care about ego min rolls most of the time, though, because, like, the chance is always there of getting the tails, and it will haunt you, always. It's red whole cheese with that high throwing ego to any of the above passive. What is the. Let's see. God, this is pr 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 however you pronounce it. Pr Pruden. I don't even know how you pronounce it. I'm not going there. Uh. Do you mean. Crotis Telbull? Crotis Telbull is technically not the highest because it's a conditional. Also, Shredded. Dimension Shredder Yi Song is not highest rolling, that's for sure. Highest rolling is, uh, Merso Capote. That rolls a 45. Corona Telepool, Keith Telepool gets plus 15 power with the Envy Resonance, or with, if you got Trish. Pretty much the same from Yushu. I'm fairly certain it's... I mean, it's Merso Capote. Because that's the, that one rules a 45, easy to forget. For some insane reason. I don't think anything else can beat that. The 20 plus 25. Yeah. Of course, it does have the big trade-off that is you have to get rid of Pursuance, which is tied for the highest min roll with, you know, Sunshower and Rodeon Pursuance. Or with, I mean, with 
Otis Sunshare. Capote gets 45. Yeah, Capote is a 20 plus 25 at, at threat pin 4. It's only a single target. Is like the, the, is, that's the trade-off, though, right? Like, no matter how much you upside, it still saves as a single target. Play here. You've got a high speed roll. We can't redirect that. We can't really redirect you with much of anything, so we'll flash you. Probably with like a flash of sun up shirt or something. We don't want to ink over the stupid lion for the bit. And it resists slash. The elephant's weak to slash. Okay, ink over the elephant. Shh. <laughs> Now die the lion. There we go. Taste of that thing. Now we're gonna we'll be tasty you, so we're gonna boundary of death the creature the, the the small guy. The fall guy. Let's see. Worth matching can be if you overclock last turn. We're talking base rolls, that's the thing. Because if you're if you're including conditionals and power up and stuff like that, um then it's going to be Heathcliff Telepole. Without a doubt. Yeah, for the match time, Ryoshu Corrosion, uh it's it's a forty two max roll, but it gained three attack power up if the previous turn. If you got a failed kill. Which can be really strong, but it's circumstantial, yeah. Because then, circumstantial, as long as you've got a two energy resonance, you get the stupid power on uh, Pelipole Heathcliff, right? I forgot about the face, God. It happens. Eh, we'll be fine. It's neutral, at least. That's not, like, game throwing, right? It's really not. Nice. Nice, Dagger the funny lion guy. Okay, and we killed Elephant, that's good. Do some damage to you. There we go! First bounty of death hit of the, of, of the playthrough, everyone. And it's on the guy. That's funny. We love that, we love the bounds of death. We sure, we really do. Oh, did I, oh, I accidentally hit the button, didn't I? Oh no, that's fine. We're killing these guys, we'll be fairly good. See, uh, healing. Wholesome. Don't think it matters too much. Daring decision. You... We can just stay calm and you bleed out. Works for me. For the bit, right? Oh, we could potentially boundary of... <laughs> we gotta try it, at least, right? Like, how funny would it be? How funny would it be? What is my luck? You know, I think that's a sign of good things to come. If I'm being if, if I'm being honest, I think that that is a very good sign of things to come this run. You know, we had a little bit of trouble, but things turn around. Finally, uh, that took a little longer than expected, but that's fine. I only thought the tall guy might break the Lyra's entrance for a moment. Anyways, about the man who turned those two people into free. <laughs> you think he has something to do with the Blue Reverb's gang of musicians? You really make such a conclusion. His purpose of sending people here seems different from that of the Blue Reverberation and those related to him. 
However, there's something about him that differentiates him from ordinary humans. He could be a being of similar essence to the blue reverberations accomplices in some ways. Neither of them look normal, but that I can say for sure. Well, it's a good thing, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel, the tunnel is we get to spin the wheel now. I know you guys love that wheel. As you should, of course. The wheel is goaded. So you don't think there's been any new responses onto the forms that make sense? That's fine. We've still got 14 people on the wheel. That'll last a fair bit of time, that's for sure. Yeah, we'll see which person is being added next. He's going to be the next person on disciplinary. Do you think Jeremy will be added now? It would be awesome if he was. But let's see the odds. Ooh. Or will it be Adam Sandler? We got Adam Sandler from the gotcha, everyone. The, the, the first four-star identity. Oh, whoops. The first four-star Adam Sandler identity in the gotcha. Let's go. All right. On floor of language, you know it. There's no better place for him to be, I don't think. Let's see. Gotta make Adam Sandler. Um, this is one I added myself, so there's not, like, an actual thing on it. Adam Sandler, he looks weird. He gotta look super, like, smug, I think. That's kind of Adam Sandler. Maybe a little bit lighter eyebrows, but, like, maybe, like, something like this. That's kind of Adam Sandler, right? Yeah. And hair, he's just gonna have kind of, like, short, normal, like, brown hair, probably. Which of these gives me Adam Sandler vibes? This one actually probably. Yeah, that's probably the best I can get. Like a dark-ish brown, something like that maybe. Adam <laughs> Sandler, what are you doing here? Wait for them to like Gangnam style. Hang on, Vegan doesn't even know the deep lore. Oh, uh, he does. See, he, he knows the lore. He's just, he's just making the meme. It's like the, the one clip. Oh, this is on TikTok. Oh no. God, how do I get this actual image, this video? It's gonna play an ad, isn't it? Yeah. That's fine. see. I think I could definitely fully commit it to the bit if I pull up the wheel. Adam Sandler? What are you doing here? Waiting for them to play Gangnam Style. That's the meme. <laughs> That's it. I can... Was that you, DC? I assume that was yours. I think I've got, I've got like, his downloads, I think. I think Vacant, like, because of how Vacant stuff works, I signed Vacant, I think they've got the stuff Vacant subscribed to on mine. It was interesting. I have never played Guilty Gear. Vacant has though, so I guess. Ooh, Hana Hana food to Adam Sandler. Ooh, I like I like the Hana food to Adam Sandler. I think. I think that goes hard. Oh, my headphones are about to die. That's awesome. Let me plug them in. Luckily, I can plug them in while using them.
Why is Biken from Guilty Gear there? Uh, ask Vacant. I know you saw Vacant, but I forgot what they were. Yeah, I turned all the others off. I just, I guess I didn't turn Biken off. Like the Ouija reception. Yeah. The ones that are actual receptions are turned off, but the ones that are appearance which I can use subscribe to, I think I just have. Be like Biken, yeah. I'm just waiting for them to play Gangnam Style. Something. Let's see. What are what are some other classic Adam Sandler quotes? No, please. What are you pleasing about? It's been some eight crazy nights. What's the movie name? Yeah, eight crazy nights. That'll work. Uh, let's see. What are some other good Adam Sandler quotes? I am back. We're adding Adam Sandler. Barely even words. What else does Adam's? What are some other classic Adam Sandler moments? Uh. No. Let's see. Uh. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's think. Let's think. Actually, while I'm while I'm doing this, I'll put the next poll. <laughs> What are, what, are, what are you questioning? Okay, so let's see. Options. Uh, just considering. Everything is clicking into... Alright. Sure thing. There, that's the poll. I should do. All right, I, I had the feeling. Ryan Children at forty-four percent. People are voting. People are also voting for sweepers. Oh, actually, it's a little closer than I than. Interesting. <laughs> You're going to fill up. Am I though? We'll have to see. God, it's staying even. I'm filming maybe an hour on its own. Yeah, I don't have a floor with five people. I'd like to remind you guys. I'm gonna have to. I have to do it with five people. Death. This is just like the hit movie Pixels. Ally death. Uh. Yeah. Oh. That's an e yikes from me. He's something mildly humorous in regards to Adam Sandler being added. Sure thing. Sweepers are oh sweepers are winning. Okay. And now we got the red mist Adam Sandler. God. And there's not, not really very many good beards, is there? No. Oh, you, you gotta get him a cigarette. Nothing there. Hmm. The crank are winning, you're going to sleep. Fair enough. Luckily, it doesn't seem like they're winning.
Sure. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. So many good options, so little time. Might just do nothing for this slot. Uh... A lot of very interesting cosmetics on a lot of these, yeah. This works, though. That's all we need. Okay, uh... Seems like it is turning to be a sweep. A beautiful sweep, yeah. It's fill up by, like, two votes, I think. Well, then. This'll be a way to end the stream, isn't it? God, the cutscene's gonna take a while. That's fine. We got three... Actually, we could burn some stuff. Eh, let's just roll it, honestly. What's the worst that can happen? At least just you miss Philip. Fair enough. I don't blame you guys. <laughs> but even less watchable. True. Um, if I, you guys are going to actually leave the stream, uh, just a quick reminder: next stream is going to be Monday, same time. So if any of you guys are actually going to be like, yeah, this is, I, I'm, I'm, this is over. <laughs> oh yeah, here's the, here's, I should send Armagon's, uh. <laughs> Incomprehensible meme. Every atom I root, Adam Sandler, the girl falls completely in love with him. <laughs> Alright. Sure thing. Well, we've got a we've got a long fight in front of us. It's so Jover, it really is. Stopping it you know what? I didn't mean to hit that. If I if I'm being completely honest, that was a misclick. Whoops. It's not over. It's not over yet. Oh, it just crashed. Oh. I tried launching the game again and it just immediately crashed. That's interesting. Scuff stream in all of history. It's like, really love to see. I love it. you can still see the very little Gregor in the bottom left. Cause I've got I've got a better idea. Whoops. I've, I've, I've. You probably could guess what I was trying to do there. All right. Uh. I. Okay. I'm messing up a lot. It's okay. You know, you know, I didn't mean to go. Okay. Well, we're just doing blade lineage. We're just gonna do blade lineage. We'll do. We might do both then, but you know, it happens, right? Kim time. There he is. It's funny. It's really funny to see him here. Limbus reference. It really is. Yeah. Look at them. So wacky. So especially so wacky how like this is overlapping weird. But it's straight up nuclear now. It happens. It really does. Oh, he's yielding his flesh. Uh, do we want to do we want to beat that for the bit? I don't think we can if we wanted to, but you know it's worth a shot. They go. Are you okay? Ah, uh, define okay. And by that I mean don't define okay. I'm not. <laughs> oh, backstreet that sure thing. Sharpened blade, like, acupuncture, bearing decision that, uh, observe that, I guess? Well, you can do, you can just throw in, like, a, a flank attack on this guy, I guess? Oh, that's not being clashed. Okay, that's cool, then. 
No, everything's clashing. That's good. This will work. Okay, we lose with Yield My Flesh. That was intentional, though. I just wanted the emotion level, honestly. I know it's the camera number, so there, we don't know that's true. These games could take place in entirely different mirror worlds, for all we know. That would would be a really funny bit. If, like, eventually we learn that's a different one. I hope they don't do that, of course, because that would be so lame. Unbelievably lame, but it would be funny. Sure, it would be a funny bit. Unfortunately, we can wait up, and that's all we can do the turn that we have observed ready, because, yeah. A little unfortunate. That's all right, though. We'll, 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 we'll we live. Ooh, we could actually... We're going to wait up the yield mic. Yeah. One of those days. One of those days. We can't actually reject that other one. Okay, cool. Um, Maybe we... We are going to get hit by the slate. Nothing we can do about that, unfortunate. Watch that, at least. Fierce Long Slot, that person, at least. Bizarre attack of this person, I guess, and that's all we can do. Cool. It's going to be this year's April Fool's through. Oh, we actually beat him. Cool. Shh. Wasn't expecting. I guess it's because he wasn't using, like, funny st stacking things that turn. So fair enough. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we get this on you. The goat. Uh. It's tempting. I don't want to attack you, not gonna lie. But just, we'll just, we'll just let you be, honestly. Uh, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just ignore that, pretend it didn't happen, live on, move on, move on with our daily lives, that sort of thing. I don't really feel like I feel like one-siding attacking you this turn. I don't know why, just kind of, just kind of getting the feeling that maybe I should just ignore you for now, right? It's just a random, random sense I have. When Luzo Clash, he adds it to stand their bones in the hand, right? Yes. But the actual version of this game the actual fight version of this guy he just got it in his deck for some reason like he like the actual like bamboo cam you fight will just gets it for free basically a little bit rude but it makes sense that you can actually see it in action right okay we're killing the minions pretty easily we don't really care about the minions too much so that works for me play Overthrow. Sure, right, we'll go for that. In the meantime, we'll kill you. We'll try to kill you. We'll go decently enough. Alright. Oh, we actually staggered Kim there. Ooh. Didn't mean to. Whoops. Well, we'll kill his allies too, so we'll get the emotion level up from that. That's solid. You didn't get the emotional level from that. Okay, cool. I'll kill this guy. We get the emotional level from that. He did get the emotional level from that. I don't think we're going to be able to get any more emotional levels up on you, so, uh, just kill this guy, will you? Everyone just dogpile Kim. Boundary of death time. We'll try it. See if it works. Oh, it did work. Cool. That's raw. Shh. He's alive because of unrelenting, unfortunately. But you know, we can we can live with that. Next turn we'll just also auto damage and kill him. I say auto damage, like this is like that's like the correct terminology at all when it is very clearly not. But yeah, there goes Ken. Cool. Three times in a row. Yeah, I've, I've been a little lucky so far. This means it's never going to hit for the rest of the run, basically. I hate I hate to be the the bringer of bad news, but, like, it kind of feels obvious. Like, that's what it's building up to. Okay, we did, also didn't get Kim's page. But that's fine. But you know what? That's decent. Next while you're getting another 200 plus kills, do not curse me. 
considering your luck right now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, um... Well, you guys did vote on it, so... I'm not doing it today, but next time we'll we'll start off with that. You know, let's do seven. Why not? Might as well. Don't spend that book. Just spend in Yeah, I'm sure that'll work. We'll also just take down these, because there's two waves. Kill these guys. It shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Everyone gets a clash. That's always nice to see. Each, we'll have each person, you know, double up on their respective person, too. You know, it's a fun way of going about doing it. It makes it feel like we're doing, like, duels, right? Only thing that I found that their major is often funny prank, as far as I know. Yeah, I believe so. Actually, I think, um, also, if you have, uh, what's its face? If you have 12 fixers, 12 fixers also helps out. Especially if you're at low motion level, interestingly enough. The 12 fixers increases the minimum. You can clash that. Ink over that guy. You can go for that guy. Now die that guy. Okay, you can't actually go for anyone. That's unfortunate. We're just gonna have Eugen double up then. I guess it's the best way to do it. I guess we just have Eugen. Yeah, that works. They call him one of them. They call him the other one as well. Rule to the back street, this person. And then you're gonna face the chain this one. And we wait for the face. Zombie from 7 so I should show up this perception. Yes. Second wave. It's one of those weird multiple wave uh, genre receptions. It's the. It and the Rusted Chains in 7 are the only multi wave genre receptions, right? I don't remember. Do any of the Star Cities have two waves? I don't think so. It's been a while, though. Will Dante from 7 or Dante from Limbus show up? It's a 50 it's 50 a, it's a whether or not we see Limbus or a, a 7 Association Dante. So who can say? Well, will we get it four times in a row? That's the question everyone's wondering, I'm sure. And, uh, we'll see. Simple as that. The answer is no, but it would be really funny. Funny if we ever meet this Dante later. Yeah, could happen. Darn. No four times in a row. That's fine. Three times in a row is good enough for me, especially since we land them all funny moments. It'd be kind of lame rolling a boundary death against a random seven fixer compared to, like, you know, a clown. Right? Would have been a waste if I'm being honest. So, you know, I'm glad I'm glad that's how it turned out. Okay, that's fine. You can hit this guy a little bit and this guy a little bit and you can one side this guy a little bit and then just redirect to your other one right yeah that'll work sounds good oh no these will mostly be here i think some of them will i think assuming all of them will might be you know, assuming a little too much it would be cool if we saw a lot of them I, a lot of the general reception people are really cool also, Argon is 4 HP. That's so wholesome. We'll see. We might get a roadmap for the next season sometime soon, honestly. We'll have to see when they go about doing it. How would you call self lead work in Limbus? Uh, it'll be like charge. Yeah, probably not. That would be something. It would be some gimmick where, you know, you get benefits for having a lot of self lead. Self lead, self lead count would probably go on. Interesting how that would work, though, I wonder. Yeah, there's Dante. But not the Dante you're probably familiar with. The other Dante. Dante may cry, Dante. That sort of thing, right? Yeah. Hmm? Hmm? 
All right. Uh, let's do it like flash or sun up with you. Faint memories with you. It'll work. Wait for the face. I remember the face this time. That's good. Count influence. Yeah. It'll be weird. Points will eat up all the bleed. Yeah, it will. Which is why you need to have a lot of bleed here and a little bit of potency, right? Okay, Armagon died. What a shocker. Uh, it happens. Fairly frequently, too, because Armagon runs a very self-damaging page. But, you know, we can blame Armagon for that, even though I'm the one who gave it to him. Funny fan. Let's go. No, no. People say that charge is boring because it only got count. Imagine I just can't charge potency. Yeah, there's more potential for that, that's for sure. The main issue with charge, though, is the fact it... It isn't fun alone. It's basically just a resource that does just... All it does is just... You spend it and you gain. It doesn't have any additional effect, right? That's kind of how it fuels a lot of time, at least, right? That's how I see it, at least. I think it varies from person to person, of course, but that's my personal take on it. And it's because the stuff is strong, but, like, it's in a way where it's kind of become overplayed, right? That sort of stuff. Okay. Yeah, what did I say? I can only get it against, like, important people, right? Like, I wouldn't get against a Reign of Seven Fixer, but against Dante, of course I'd land Boundary. Four in a row, not quite four in a row. There's one in the middle that didn't hit. Doesn't work out of 20 charge burn limbs that hurts. Yeah, the, the passive decay is kind of lame. Perfect cell charm is so bad, but the end charge will never be as true. Cool. True. True. It's just the goat. You love that cell charm. You really are going to get 200 plus bullet in the game. Please. I know I am. I've I've accepted it. I just got to I just got to stock as much lunacy as possible, right? That's going to be the thing. And I don't, I'm not going to care about, like, announcers and stuff, right? I just need the IDs. That's the part that matters. If I get lucky and get the announcers, I'll take it. But I just want the IDs. And it'll probably be an ego this game because they didn't do an ego last time. And, you know, suffering never ends. But yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, set up quite nicely now. But next stream, Monday, we will start out with Crying Children with only five librarians. We'll probably do hot again. I might... I'll change Armagon, probably, if I remember. If not, we'll roll with it for the bit. Um, it's a bad idea, I know, but it'd be funny, right? But yeah, uh... We made... We didn't make... We didn't make good progress, but we made some progress. We had some funny moments. Some Family Guy funny moments. If that's, you know, how we want to look at it, right? Man, 140 pulls you didn't get hot or Otis X last will purchase. Oof, that is rough, yeah. Good night, Kyle and Gregory. Yes, he's still sleeping. Oh, he's stretching a little bit. I think it's about time I let him out. Yeah, he's waking up now. He knows I'm hopping off, I suppose. He can actually kind of, like, tell. Like, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but he knows my outro. Whenever I say my outro, he kind of, like, gets ready and he knows it's about time to get up. But yeah, good night, everyone been a good stream i'm glad to be back to it it's been a little bit too long of a break and hopefully the two streams a week thing will make it so it's going to be a lot more consistent going forward but anyways that'll be all for this time thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>